Good evening. Welcome. So, how are you guys doing? Ah, it is Sunday and it's time to round off the weekend with a nice, relaxing, hopefully satisfactory evening. Well, it will be satisfactory in one way or another. Ah, and we're putting the factory back in satisfactory. Uh, it's it's still interesting to me how how surprised people are that it's a factory game. But I guess that's that's just how it is. Um, or maybe it's me who got it wrong. Ah, and how you? How was your weekend? Mine has been a little bit, little bit too exciting. A little bit too exciting. So I uh, really need to chill a little bit here. Um, also start looking at so the next weeks and the next weeks again and just kind of it's almost October and you know what October means that means Factorio month what do people think it is like uh, as uh, build beautiful buildings and happen to put a few factories in there I think they broke your insane strat of using the floor hose for giga long list. I can't do it anymore and loaded up your safe. Couldn't get it to work. Oh, I'm sorry to uh, <laughs> said his architecture. Yes, we can. <laughs> um, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to test it when we get in there because uh, that would suck. I don't think I've seen an update. That would also suck that they had. Oh, there's a small hotfix from Thursday. No, we played on Thursday. I don't know. There was nothing. Okay. Well, that's sad because that's a uh, really nice. <laughs> the bus is not beautiful. Well, I think the beauty is in the function and not in the form. Um, and I think most like, the orderliness of it. And um, yeah, I, I like it. I, I like it. It's, it's just nice. It's nice for me. Yeah. So. Uh, Factorio is also around the corner. Uh, two, three weeks, three weeks, and I get to play it at least. Then, and, I, and it worked for a lift that costs 500 million. You probably didn't line it, probably. Yeah, you have to be spot on with the alignment. We'll test it. We'll test it. So let's just uh, confirm it because, uh, yeah, it would suck. And it would all be a weird thing for them to fix, but typical. Anyway, uh, I'm actually having a little bit of trouble playing Factorio. I, you know, I have Space Age and I I play it, but I just get stuck and I just play it a little bit an hour and then I stop playing it uh, because it's not that fun. Big why? Oh my God, you got Space Age and it's not fun. Oh, you heard it here first. No, because I'm playing the base game and setting up a starter base. And oh my God, am I happy I don't have to do that for unreleased it because that fucking sucks. Uh, there is nothing interesting about playing Factorio again on 1.0 difficulty with cliffs, with default biters, default cliffs, default biters, just no mods and also no mods. No mods is really important. Yeah, no, no mods. So there's a, there's no squeak through. Uh, there's no car that can drive in straight lines. All those things that are just so, so. Yeah, it's um, it's a little bit of a drag, and it's just really boring because uh, you know, and I have to build my base in a very specific designed way, and therefore at at a very early stage, I have to sort of set up my perimeter, and I'm not going to set up my perimeter twice, so I have to set up my perimeter really far out, like five city blocks wide, five, no, seven city blocks wide and eight city city blocks high, and that needs to be sort of encapsulated and uh, done. It sucks. It's just so boring to run around and just to go back, get some more, uh, get some more uh, guns and yellow inserters and wooden power poles and belt, yellow belts and uh, walls and then go out there and <laughs> so that's um that's a little bit boring. But hey, I do it for you. I do it so that on the fourth fourteenth of October when we have a massive launch. Then we're just going to be having an awesome base that, well, it's not going to be an awesome base. It's going to be a functional base that works and it's there and it can do stuff. And then we can use that base to do stuff and, uh, and get to space and enjoy the actual new game instead of just spending the first week on just grinding the, uh, the old game. You do it so we don't have to. Exactly. At least for the patrons. 
Because I'm going to, of course, give this uh, save to patron supporters so that you can get a nice, clean start. I will unlock nothing. I'm, I'm even not unlocking the uh, the modular, the, the, the modules, right? The quality module. So I'm not even unlocking the quality module tech. So that will just be like a red-green tech that's there and, and you can unlock it when you load up the save. So there's nothing new. I might do... Hmm... Uh, I might do what? I might do um, the new train schedule because that's also something that's new to interesting to see, so that we we have that set up uh, in 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 a way so that all trains can do all things and then they work with interrupts. That could be fun, right? I think that would be fun uh, because it's one of those things that's a little bit of a hassle to set up, but once it's set up, it's like, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, they change color depending on what they're tra they're transporting. Nice, um, and I think I think there's room for it in the base, so it could be fun. I think. You think? What do you think? I don't think that would be sort of getting started because that's something that's available in 2.0. So that's available even if you don't have uh, space age, space age. It's just the space age and quality and what else is there? It's like it's three mods. There's there's the space stuff, everything on different planets. There's quality and there's hmm. Tra elevated trains. I think elevated trains is part of 2.0, or or maybe it isn't. I don't know. I could check, <gasps> but I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally load it up and then uh, accidentally start a stream and then accidentally click the button and then accidentally stream Steam uh, Space Age. But um, I should check that. So, yeah. And I was just th I was also thinking like. What tech is elevated trains? I can't I can't even remember that. I can't even remember that's something you get on a different planet. Or it's something you can get on Navis. I don't even know, because if you could get it before you got cliff explosives, that would also be an uh, an um, that would also be like a way to sort of okay, well, cliffs suck, but at least you can make elevated trains to go around over them. That would that would be nice. But I don't know. I, I can't remember. And I can't check right now. But I, I remember that I thought about this before and thought, like, I'm going to check that next time I load up the game. But I didn't. Good evening, all. Good evening, Tempered Fox. Um, yeah. So, actually, in back to Satisfactory. We are at a point where... Oh, by the way, uh, I'm starting off from where we left off the YouTube episode, which means that it's a little bit further than... Um, than uh, further ahead than... Then we left off the last uh, live stream because I recorded an episode. So right now we actually have almost all the things we have up to and including supercomputers available in the in in the save uh, on the bus. That means what we're missing on the bus is turbo motors, fused cube, fused modular frames, pressure cubes, and nuclear pasta. That's the only thing part of tier eight that we still don't have on the bus. And then it's tier nine. So we need those four things. We need uh, additional plastic and rubber. We need to take a little bit of addition to our turbo fuel, no, not turbo, rocket fuel plant, and make that rocket fuel plant into a canisterized rocket fuel uh, location that feeds into a drone network so that we can have drones pick up rocket fuel and then send it out to locations where we want to have, be able to serve rocket fuel. And then I'd like to be able to take rocket fuel both from the bus and to the bus. So that's kind of one of the things that I think we um, um, we, we would, th those are the things that we need to do before or while unlocking the next tier. We can't unlock the next tier until we get the nuclear pasta. So that's a given, but I think we want to do plastic, rubber and remote base uh, operations like uh, drone operations this time around. I don't think we're going to do trains. I think drones are more fun especially rocket power drones that's more fun i don't think i love trains i just don't really particularly love them very much in satisfactory i think they're pain in the ass to set up and uh, it doesn't really yeah don't know uh requires aluminium canisters oh right well i mean isn't that lovely because that means we can actually use 
the rocket fuel, we can use the drone network to bring the aluminium in. That's and then get that started. That's interesting. Good, good point, Grandic. And some of God, uh, thoughts about the demolishers? Yes. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about the let's talk a little bit about the Factorio demolisher. I wanted to do a Friday Factorio facts uh, reaction, but like two things, I didn't really have experience fighting them because they couldn't spawn in my game um, because I was loading up an existing save and we just couldn't make him spawn. So again, warning: careful about the loading up an existing save because thought spawns might be off. I don't know why, but well, I do know why. The thing is, uh, the, the reason why was that all map gen settings was when this save was migrated was just for all other planets and everything else, every other category was set to zero, like a bad default value. And then you couldn't change it before landing on the planet because that layer, you can only, in the, in the editor, you can only change the layer you're on. So if you're a novice, you can change the spawn things for novice. But you can't change the spawn, even though the spawn also includes volcanoes things, then you can't change it for volcanoes until you land on the volcanoes. That means I had to land on volcanoes, change the settings on volcanoes, and then explore the map. And then the map would, re would, would generate with the, uh, with the new uh, resource settings and cliff settings that I had then changed outside of the area that's already sort of defaults uh, generated. But for some reason, that the default thing is probably also setting up the territories for the biters or the demolishers. And because I landed on there when, when the map settings were set to zero, then they never respawned. So that's the, that's the part. So that's um, unfortunate that it is like that. But I, So I didn't have anything in to add to it, and then I would sort of go by conjecture uh, or sort of what I saw and what I saw was maybe a little bit spoilery uh, so I'm actually kind of going in as blind as you have most of my information I have about demolishers aside from actually just sort of seeing them in game is uh, coming from uh, from the Friday Factory pack so I didn't really have a lot of things to add yeah With weird scene between areas and, and different settings. Yeah, it was kind of, but it was mainly mainly like the area around me was just desolate and barren. So I had to go pretty far away to find something, which would also mean that if I did that, then it would hurt because the demolishers in those areas are bigger. So yeah, that's interesting. It was a, yeah. So so I I also I've been a little bit busy this weekend. Just had a few hours here and there of just like chilling and then tuning in a little bit on Satisfactory, just flying around, doing a little design work or going to Factorio and doing a little uh, <laughs> expansion work. Just chill, not being able to sort of get into the groove of recording, but we'll, uh, we'll do that after today. Uh, maybe the video tomorrow will be about like the logistic network um, like, uh, or drone network. So I think that's one of the first things we want to set up, like a drone network of sorts. I think that would be fun. Cool. Hello, Sapnius. Welcome. Yeah. So, um, oh, Mies, thank you for gifts up. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use that gifts up as our trigger for jumping into the game. There we go. Oh, zero subs. I don't know why it says zero subs, but that's just apparently that didn't count. Good evening, Mies. That was a a more modest way of of, uh, of joining uh, than what you previously uh, sometimes you've been having a little bit of a, a forceful entrance there we go we are back to uh floaty float no floaty floaty and yes we're still gonna do this and it still sucks and that's still kind of how it's gonna be um i'm gonna do that so hype train rewards there we go Good. So, hype train rewards. Let's uh, look at so that you can kind of see them. If we get a hype train during the day, then if we get a level one, we get a hop upgrade. If we get a level two, then we get alternate recipes. The funny thing is, I'm interpreting this as a hard drive, but I remember when we did it, it was actually go in there, unlock all recipes up to the current tech. That was actually how it worked, because otherwise it's not better than a tier one. Anyway, we're still going to do it the way with the hard drive. Um, 
And then uh, tier three is flying for the rest of the stream. Ooh, recolor factory as well. And then four is no build cost for an hour. And level five is of course the most glorious one of an extra bonus stream on a fine Sunday evening like this, where I don't have to get up early. And thank you, Master MSE, for tier two for six months in advance. That's 40 months. No, a map is generated in 20 chunk radius around the player, even if it stays undiscovered, but that generation General is very slowly. So it seems could be weird. Yeah. And Civil Season with the 200 bits and Freak with the 500 bits. Now, back ahead of Twitch in the bits leader. Oh, right. Uh, Twitch is not uh, doing anything more. Yeah, Twitch didn't really... It wasn't as impactful as last time. But I guess that was uh, last year at this time we had the space exploration. And that was drawing in huge uh, bits and <laughs> bits and bombs and stuff like that. So, oh, I'm trying to fly. No. Uh, Kakarian, thank you for the 67 months. Super amazing. Very, very much appreciated. All right. So I built this damn thing. We can't see what it is, but that's a thing. Uh, I think we'll just go over here just so I can build a, a, a jetpack just because, right? Because why not? And Mr. Ocek, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, we do have the other back. Let's uh, build an other back. Yeah, we can build 25 of those. Let's do that. And I've cleaned up my inventory because I was like, what's the fucking point of having anything in my inventory at this point? Like, only the stuff that I can't really, that I have to have and use. Yeah, we can fly! We can fly! Look at that! I can see my... Oh, oh, look at that. It's actually way better range than usual. Nice. All right, so we did get a train that uh, that improved. More no need to wait. <laughs> More Ooh, the wow, you are owning that the leaderboard for for this month again. This month, it's been like honestly lately. It, it's, it's, you've been on fire. There you go. <laughs> Just build that here. All right, so I have uh, taken my blueprint. Damn dodge. Well, there's an easy way. To Thank you so much, me for the fifty gift subs calling out specifically there so that in, in case anyone watches the uh, the VOD and don't know who what what happened with, uh, with 50 guest subs that means we are already well into a level 3 uh, that means level 3 is completed well on way to level 4 so let me just point over to the right hand side no build costs and a one hour stream is uh, one extra bonus hour stream is uh, up for grabs definitely if it's going to be today then it's now look at this look at how well I integrated a drone port into into the bus so this is the starter location for the bus or the uh, the, the branch start on the bus here uh, i don't have the long range here i thought we did have that so i take uh, that one and then i add stuff to it mm. aronimus thank you also for a gift up and uh, thank you i'm enjoying playing the game also counts for the blueprints nice Thank you. And then we just build this. Ah! No, I can't fly. All right. This gets so much better when, with this. Okay. And Armchair Magpie, thank you for two little bits as well, joining in. All right. So let's see. Can we get the train uh, going so we can get a... Uh, get a, a an hour of free build, which is nice, but not probably not something that's super valuable right now. Oops, let's go that way. But uh, definitely that one hour is super valuable. Oops, and then damn, yeah, that. I don't know if it actually can fit in here, but I hope. Okay, time's uh, moving. This is only half forward, but isn't it better to be fully forward like this? Does this look better or does this look better? I can't move it this way because then it starts colliding with the, the awesome sink. 
Can reduce the volume of a hover thingy. It's content bars. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll uh, reduce it in maybe one minute and forty seconds. But hopefully a little bit more because we get to a level four hype train. You're right. It is an absolutely annoying sound. All right. One minute and twenty and thirty. Thirty. One minute and a little bit. Mies has been the one carrying this hype train. If anyone wants to join in on helping the train get to a level four or maybe even level five, then uh, now is the time because uh, it's close. Oh my God, this is insane. Why is it? it seems like now I have an employer. I have one person paying all my bills. Mies, thank you so much for the 25 gives ups. More shall gather. Okay, More shall enter that is fray. amazing. So if anyone wants to join in, then uh, so it's not a one, one person thing. Now is a good time because that is a heading into a potential level five, which means an extra bonus hour. I think I want to kind of make it here. Yeah, let's do that. And then, as you can see, it also just exactly fits in here. <laughs> Paint the factory for 500 bits. Yes, oh. Samagar, thank you for 300 bits. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think about this this drone port design? Uh, I think I love it. I was just testing it and then it just turned out that it just absolutely works. This is then going to be the outbound because this is only for outbound. And Simi Money, thank you for the prime. Welcome. And Grudig, thank you for the 200 bits nudge. Let's see where it's located. It is located on there and on there. Okay, let's see if I can find that location. Yeah, maybe. Oh, we were supposed to test this uh, thing. Oh, that's completely wrong. And Neutron, thank you for the prime. Uh, no, for the brand new subscription. Thank you. Also, remember, it's Subtober, so... Uh, Subs are cheaper. If that's a thing. Especially multi multi that did not work. Another loyal this is not really devotee. great. Another loyal devotee. God damn, I can't do this. Ah, it works. It worked. And the way the thing is, it's actually just like that. We just build this as any. Any. Good. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's time for us to focus on the train. Where are we on this train? We are 34 subs away. And Mies has been hitting all of those. It's a little bit early. And Spaghetti Ladder. Thank you for the prime. That is now 33 subs away from a bonus hour. Don't wait until the last second. It's just a usual comment. Oh yeah, should we also extend these? No. Take all of that out. Alright, so Mies, thank you so much for trying to get this hype train and for single-handedly getting it to level 4. It does not seem like there's anyone who uh, is is up for getting that, getting uh, helping us get that extra bonus hour today. Um, but thank you so much for, for that lovely support. That's just one minute left of our chance to get a bonus hour today. 60 seconds and 33 subs. Why is it so just there? Too bad. Thank you, Zero Man. Thank you for the Prime. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building an army. And this one also needs to get something in, but I don't have a solution for that yet. Well, I do kind of have a solution for it, but I, I think it's going to reveal itself. Oh, oh, 
this is so sad. Oh, Sujin, thank you for one gift sub. Just Great. so far away. <laughs> Don't wait for the last second, yeah. It's gonna have to be one big blast, but... Sadness. Like, my idea is like this. We'll eventually have something like this. That's level 4 train. Alright, no bonus hour today. But that's uh, very impressive. Thank you, Mies, for the magnificent support here and everyone else for just jumping in and, and trying a little bit, pushing it. At least we get flying. There. And unlock cost. Give an item a hard drive. So we go over and unlock. And these still come in every single time. Every single time I get this in my inventory. Every single start of the game, this is exactly what I get. So at some point, this has been broken in some regard. There we go. We get our one upgrade for free. Uh, we might as well get that one. That's the most expensive one. Milestone reached. Project part number nine, nuclear pasta, can be created in the particle accelerator. The accelerator has vast and fluctuating power demands, depending on the recipe, so will need careful integration with your factory. Fix it does not waste, so nuclear waste can be refined by the particle accelerator into plutonium for reuse in the nuclear power plant. Fun fact. Fixit psychologists suggest factory designs reflect the minds of their creators in unexpected ways. On an unrelated note, your infrastructural choices have been interesting. How do you deliver? How do you plan to deliver fuel to each port from the main bus? Your the three la four last words are literally the, an the answer. Literally the answer. From the main bus. Yes, indeed. From the main bus. That's a pretty good place to build to put it in from. Alright, uh, we can kill that. Because at least we can fly today. But I don't know if this is going to be it. But it's, it's going to be there somewhere. Oh, actually it doesn't need to be there necessarily. Because this might not be where I want to uh, to load it from. There's only one of the places that need to have fuel, not both of them. Um, branch start and depot. Depot and drone. Ah! Oh, that doesn't work. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. It has not registered that this is a new design. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate this. This is the worst. How do I make how do I make this into recognizing that it's a new design? There we go. Generic that one. Um, branch. Depot and drone, right? Like that. Good. So now we have two of those. Now, because I want it without the drone as well, because I don't want drones necessarily everywhere. And Kevin, thank you for the 36 months. Almost three years. Uh, yeah, three years. So, what is it we want? Um, if we had aluminium on this, then that would be where we want it. But I think we want to 
start by going to our drone port and our, alum, our aluminium here and set up a drone port for aluminium. Can't you include drone in the... Oh, drone. Yeah, but I don't want the drone in the blueprint because I don't necessarily want the drone to belong here. Depends on which one I consider to be the provider and requester. I want to put the drone in the blueprint that has the, the, pow the power. And I don't know if this one is the one that has the power. Depends on... Uh, this will be the provider. Uh, I haven't decided yet. <sighs> this part here could, should probably just have a drone port on top. have to turn it this way, which might not be the worst case. here has to be in the middle so if it's in the middle it's one two this where's the power in this night there okay yeah so now we have a drone port filling up I'll land up. <laughs> okay uh this is hello you uh sh i should just i should be like provide request shouldn't i be writing this provide first provider ingot or and request a ingot so that i know that the names and all that yeah don't put the ingot nope um because then i need also different things this this seems more of my parts, right? Um, then let's see. Is it called canister? No, it's a tank. Empty fluid tank. It's just like that. So we craft it where we need it. No, because if I do it with the other one, then it's kind of too limited. This could also be something else that needs these ingots inbound and and it's going to be fine. All right, let's go over here and check if this is still working. Oh, man, if it doesn't work, I'm going to be sad because then I've ruined one of these. But I guess we have to for, for the sake of experimentation. It's weird that the middle one is not moving as fast as the other one. 
because they all should be moving at the same speed. They should all be listing at 600 speed and just working. Like that bothers me a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Like why is the middle one, like everything is green, which means everything is consuming and everything is working all the time. So this belt should not be stuttering. I don't get why it's stuttering. Like, obviously, there could be 700 and something on it, but I'm only putting in from the other side 600 and 600. So what I put in is also what I draw out. And if the belt has sort of stacked up for a little bit, then sure, it could take a while for it to start flowing continuously. But it's not flowing continuously. That means it's not consuming 600. But it looks like it's consuming 600 because... This, 200. This... 200 this 200 and they're just they're full they're happy they're working weird oh why is this a mark four left Why would they fix something that's nice? Why would they why would they break good stuff and not fix the shit that's uh, that's there? That is ridiculous. This is a like there are so many fucking bugs in this game and you choose to fix something that's actually nice. Oh my god, I am so tired of this game. I'm so tired of the way they work. Holy shit. This one was actually nice. It was a nice little thing that didn't hurt anyone. It was just a nice little convenience, but no, 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 we can't have nice things. We have to, uh, have to get broken shit like this. Oh, okay. Ah, whew. Nope. So it was, uh, maybe that was the issue. Whew. Good shit. Uh, so was that because it was linked there? Or was it because it was a level four? Because this is a level, f no, it's still a level four. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know. So I can see that it didn't work. Why did I just make them level 4? Why the hell is this... Odd. Misaligned when you read it, lift. Yeah, it, it must have been. It, it shouldn't be, but it is. It was misaligned. Yes. I don't know if this one has to be the one with the drone in or not. Um, if it's the one with the drone, it has to be the one also with power. And I can't bring power in here. Uh, <laughs> I could leach some coal. I could leach some coal. That's crazy. Now, this part here, uh, we actually have to also build a port that is for for the fuel. Because I'm going to have to get fuel in. Oh, am I going to get fuel in here? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's the old way, uh, Grundig. The idea is that providers should not, because providers are out in the world. It's the requesters that have it. But I'm just not sure that's how we're going to do it. But um, anyway, let's go to our drone port. Uh, we do need to pick up some... Oh, I, yeah, I do need to pick up some of those because I need to make them into uh, canisters or tanks so we can use it. Don't need power? I don't know if they need power. They do need power because otherwise they won't uh, let the, the uh, fluid come in. Or the... Yeah, the belts will not go in unless they're not powered. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 1,000 canisters. That should be a good place to start. 
Oh yeah, shit, there's no such thing as canister as... Why am I building so many? Damn. There you go. Don't need it. Should be plenty. Alright, we're just gonna go out on a little mission, a quest, out in the world. Yeah, power in terms of fuel. Yes, it was not power, it was fuel. Uh, we can also take out our entire build over here, uh, the coal power build, because it's 2,700 megawatt, and that's not very much. Um, of course, it's still something, but it uses up two normal coal uh, deposits, and those could be used for something more. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's another thing. The map, everything that you see here is clean of uh, summer sloops and hard drives. So we actually have a shit ton of hard drives. That means we should actually get uh, the hard drives going again. Because now we got new recipes as well. So we are going to be starting on this. And that means hard drive 29. And summer sloop we have 51 plus the ones we already have in operation. So let's get that one processing. There are 16 hard drives left on the map. Funny how this one is default color. And only when we get closer does it change color. Boop. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, Mace, we did not get a color from you. So I don't know if you want a different color. Can you zoom in on the map around here? I have a big black square on top of a peak. Uh, let's just do this useless stuff here. That one? Big black square on top of a peak. Yes, that's true. That's weird. That's up by the... Um, by the uranium. Ah, thank you! So I guess I have that too. Now that you mention it. Thank you. Beautiful new colors. Lovely. More, a little bit toned down from what we uh, we had previously. That's normal? No, it's not. It might be the same for you, but it's definitely not normal. <laughs> it's not supposed to be there. Unless it's... It's a pit of despair. Why is there a pit of despair at the, the highest point in the game? Maybe it's a super secret. There's uranium over there. Yes, indeed. Which means that there should be uranium, uranium icons, deposit, and just nothing out in the ordinary. Mountain of despair. Yeah, it is. You want power slugs. Each of these is five, five, four power slugs. These are two power slugs. That weird sound. Good. Weird that I haven't picked these up when I was building the power poles. Seems mm, uncharacteristic of me to leave. Slugs just lying around. That's a pretty copper location. They don't respawn these ones. This area is just so difficult to get through because you go like, ooh, slug, ooh, slug. But I've done this so many times that there aren't that many ooh, slug left. There we go. There's our glorious power plant. And I was testing something here. Oh, yeah, I was doing it for the uh, thumbnail. Yoink. Um. Okay. All game bugs will be corrected, so the devs promise. I don't think that's what they... Uh, game breaking bugs, probably. I think I want to have some space in between, but how much space? One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to build a new platform like this, which isn't going to be as big of that, but let's just at least just kind of indicate how wide is it. It's five in the middle plus two on the side, so that's nine. So that means one plus eight.
Oh. Okay, so I have to paint them afterwards. There. The point is of this is that I will take a little bit extra from these because this is coming in at 600 and I need a little bit more. Then if I but the belt can handle 780 but I mean it's still only coming in at 600 so I can set any excess here but I have the mark 3 miners and the same could be the case for this so I can actually send them onwards over here so I could start a new lane I couldn't make it full because I only have up to 780 but I could make one block of this and with that block I can use that to get some turbo fuel and then we'll bring in the canisters on a, a drone port and then we will take the canisters from the drone port, make them into uh, rocket fuel, and then make the rocket fuels go into several robo ports, drone ports, so that I can request from anywhere. I just go like drone port one, drone port two, drone port three. That's the part. How's it going? Uh, both good and bad. In a sense that I. I, we're doing great. We just got a level four hype chain. On the other hand, we just got a level four hype chain. It was, it, it could have been a bonus hour today, but it was not. And that's a little sad, but it was glorious that we got to level four hype chain so early in the stream. It was absolutely amazing. Um, but I wouldn't mind if a extra stream, extra hour stream here. So that one is going to be in here, and it's going to be a smart splitter. That's also going to be a smart split on the smart split and then take the little one out. There. But it's it's going great. And we're just chilling, I'd say, here. Cash really progressing. Ah. Yeah. And. And then that will be from here. It'll be center. No, right is any, and center is overflow. Yes. Copy paste. Yeah. Bang. Woo. So this is actually not a great place for for that. Uh, that means if I do this, my power plant just completely dies. So I'm. I think everything dies in the base and it's a little bit painful to start up again. So I think I'll try to see if I can uh, we can avoid a total shutdown. Yeah. There. And then now I sh maybe. Oh. Oh, that's not it. There. And then I should be able to take this out without too many repercussions. There we go. Perfect. Because then I can... Ah, you're going straight through that one. That sucks. That means I need to take the oil out. Oof, they're not going to work. They're not going to be happy about it. We have a huge power bank. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's true. Uh, maybe I could get the belts above this and that would probably be easier. What is, is that? Would that be okay? What the hell happened to our, our inventory? One, two. How did they disappear? Let's go out and see if we can build a Mark 3 
Miner. Oh yeah, we can. Because they're, they're, they're free. Free of charge. Oh, we're free of charge. Everything is free of charge. Ooh, let me hurry up and build stuff. Uh, blueprints. And level 5 builds. Level 5 builds. Rocket power. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, which way again? That way. Sweet. Let's get some... Let's get some... Uh, some... Uh, tier 3 miners while they are free of charge. By the way, remind me of when I need to stop you cheating and... and uh, Start paying for my tier 3 miners. Is this the place where I say hi? I don't know. It's the place where you wave. Boom. What? Why did it lose that? Seven eighty. That's fast. And we got the the mam ready. Let's see what we got. We're just gonna take some the best stuff we can. None of these are like we re reroll and none of these are like, but I I will have to take one. The quark wire cable. And then we'll start again. So basically that's how we're gonna do now. We will take one, but we'll try to reroll and get some of the higher tech options. I love this fl frantic flailing of the arms while flying downwards. That's level 5. Good. And this one. Mark 3. Mark 3. Did they... Three hundred each, so that comes in at six hundred. Perfect. Our illustrious champion returns. Quiz. Welcome Thank home. you for the twenty months. Wow, so long already. Yes, two metric years is a long time. I mean, my relationships with all of you are by far outpacing all my real life relationships. Just round it off, uh, just have uh, one of my relationships is, in, is seven months, I think, and the other one is four months. And, whew, you guys are a lot, how, you guys are a lot easier to, uh, to get along with. A <laughs> lot less drama with you. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, nitrogen, we also need nitrogen. Hmm. Oh, that would be typical that it just... Okay. Perfect. We'll change the color afterwards. Um, this will be in... Oh, this is not the same height. Yes, it is. No, this is not the same height as that. But this is the right height. Huh. Yeah, that seems kind of off, doesn't it? Like it goes a little bit up and a little bit down. That doesn't, I don't like that. Uh, how would I change that? Because I don't think I can. How would I do that? Because this is the right height for that side. Hmm. So is this this? No, this is the same height as that one. That's still not the. That's weird. Is that really the case? Yes, it is. It's. Oh my god, that's atrocious. Wow. Hmm. Let's try something. Oh, that's still not correct. Here. And then I take this out, and then I attach this one instead. And then that goes slightly up. 
I mean, something has to go a little bit up. But now, this line is straight. And there's a slight curve upwards when it gets in there. Sure. That's not it. Remove this, and then I put this in, and I get you up there. That's nitrogen gas. Okay, and then I still need oil, which should not be a problem either. Mm, you know what? Oil should be underneath this one. That would be fitting. We'll recolor afterwards, I hope. Yeah. yeah, one, two, backwards. There you go. Is it coming? It is, good. But it's not going up because it needs a pump. that one from oh this is updated so weird that you can't select this and then press e to update then it just goes to double wall instead of going to a mark two eh. should be changing into mark two Powered. Cross pipe for oil? No. Don't think so. This cross pipe is only because it was awkward. Actually, I could unawkward it. Do the same way. You go up, and then that stays constant. There you go. All right. So now we need water coming in, which I generally got from the other side. So that's well. I, now I don't want to get it from here because then it looks weird. So we'll get it from the other side. Um. And once, oh, we also need one of these fellas here. Or we need to drag this backwards. Hmm. That could be done because it, it's actually space right there for it. A merger. I do this. One, two, three, there. It's not connected. Right there, there, and there. These two go out. We go in, and this one has to be redone. And then I can get that to be on top of this one. Sure. No, be oh, oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, well, that works, but the other one didn't work. Um, yeah, this sucks. This sucks a lot. Like, I, don't, I don't want this, because this is not at the right height. It should be... It's because all of this crap is not the right height. So let's fix that and get that into the right height. It, yeah, it sucks. I, I can't propagate something that's incorrect. 
Well, I can, but I don't want to. Let's see, it's one, two, backwards, yes, and then this one. Same height, good. Why? Oh, right, that's, again, there was something wrong. Well, we still have a problem, and that is um, this one coming in. Loyal devotee. Thank you, new loyal devotee, joining the ranks. Thank you very much, and welcome. Get your juicy blueprints and save games, and eternal thanks. Eternal, wow, that's a lot. I know. Mm. Come on. I forgot this. This pipe is in the way. The other pipe. Every pipe is in the way now. Come on. Because this one can sure it can go over. But then what about that one now? And the top pipe is in the way for the return belt that I'd also like to get. But that could go, the, the return belt could just bounce over and go back and be happy, but that's also disgusting. Just clip it through. Ha 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 ha. Hello, Mr. Mini. Good to see you. Um, this can't get through here. Would factory mirroring solve the problem? There is no such thing as factory mirroring, so that's not really an option. It would be a pipe dream. Um, I think the answer is that the coal had the, the. I think they have to be at different locations, so maybe we just there's nothing that says that has to be only one lane here between them. Right, so I could just take. Oil. And put it in here instead. How would that help? Eh, somehow it'll help, I think. I was just so happy that it just fit perfectly with that, but then small deal cells of being in the way of everything else was in the end turned out to be rather impactful. There we go. Okay. So what does that change? Not really a lot, honestly. No, not not at all, actually. <laughs> ah, why? Nothing at all. Then
Oh. Oh. It's actually really bad. Because this is easy, but the other one just... Only sliding over like this is not much. Would have been better on the other side, but whatever. Uh, so we don't have water coming in, and here's like the this, this small burst that we get. That's kind of what we expect to see here. 600 goes in, goes in, the 180 moves on. Yep. How much sulfur we make? We need 100. It's not really a 45 degree belt, is it? Um, but then how would I do this in a different way? Okay, now we're just experimenting with silly things. Like if I did this, then it would also do a kink the other way. But that's... What if I did it here? That would look better, right? You guys are a... Uh, I said you were a less, uh, less maintenance, but I'm not really sure anymore. You seem rather high maintenance right now. No, 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 that's a 45 degree belt. We can't have that. Here we go. Okay. Happy? I honestly think it would look ever so slightly less awful if I... Brought this one in here. And then brought it down. So it just goes down and then the other one comes in at the same time. Good. Then we need water on the other side. How much? Just 100 water, right? 100? Yes, 100 water. Oh, that was not the easiest to do this, but okay. Stuff is underwater that needs to be underwater. There you go. And, oh, that was actually not where it's supposed to be. It was supposed to be. Yeah. Ah, still, still not. Don't know if there's enough head lift for this. Guess we'll find out. Hello, Mark. Good evening. Remember that you could build foundations underwater. Um, you can usually... Like, if you do this... Vertical, then you can build pretty deep underwater, but then you need to hit them as well. So you, I still think you can. Yeah, so there is that as well. Happy? Why not happy? Why are you no happy? This is full. This is kind of full. Okay, that took forever. Weird. 
Okay, but it's creating. Another loyal, Ooh, another loyal devotee. devotee. Thank you. And patron, thank you very much. Right. Uh, so now comes the stuff that was uh, projected, presumed, something. So the first thing we want to do is get a drone port inbound. And that drone port will be full of glorious things. Namely, uh, aluminium ingots. Do we want to land them in here? This is a good spot. I think it's too close to that location. Yeah, I think that is the closest. So we'd have to get it out from here. And then we'd have to get the fuel in here. But that's good the fuel is coming on that side. There. So now we have to make a factory that is taking... Um, what is it? What is it going to be requesting? It's going to be. Should I call it request ingots, or should I call it the name of the location where it is? So, that for example, this one is rocket fuel because that's the station, and then, aluminum ingots, right? So that, then the other one should also not be what I just called it, like that. For example, so I know that the one that's called rocket fuel is actually the one that provides it. The one that's called rocket fuel aluminum, aluminum, aluminum is the one that requests that stuff inbound. Don't forget my break. All right, let's take a break. Good. All right. Um, let's save first. Release out three eight. There you go. All right. Be back in two minutes. Thank you all for joining. Welcome back. Hmm. Need more space. break just on a patreon thank you oh it you managed it worked good good to hear that uh now we need to make a small factory very small factory of empty fluid tank make 60 per minute that that's got to be enough right that's got to be enough do i do have to say that after 
having seen the nice modules of New Year's, it's hard to watch a lot of other satisfactory streamers, YouTubers. First building these huge steps and figuring out how to transport a lot of belts. While if you make small modules, everything becomes so much easier. Yeah, it does. Also, if if you if you end up like this part. I'd probably need fewer machines if I designed it sort of as one thing, but then it'll be like, all right, I need to build 10 or five uh, um, blenders. And they'll also be like, would you build it for this scale or would you build it twice as big because it will eventually be that scale? And and then you sort of have to build it because you can't really use a module for it if you don't build it as a module. And then, yeah, you just end up with the way that I've also been playing it for a long time. Ah. <sighs> 60 it's got to be enough right and we have the fuel coming out here and then we need a packager as well that's a packager which we'll get it's a little bit crowded to be honest Let's see, how fast is the packager? Okay, 120. How much rocket fuel is this producing? 150. I think 120 rocket fuel per second has got to be enough, right? Is it worth it to use turbo fuel for generators? I don't think so. Um, I am using, well, I'm using rocket fuel. It's way better. If you look at rocket fuel, it has, why doesn't that say what the fuel value of a rocket fuel is? Uh, all right, well, let's do it in a different way. So the different uh, stuff here is um, turbo fuel. Burned one in 7.5 min uh, per minute, but rocket fuel is, I'm not gonna say almost, almost, half, uh, almost twice as effective. Almost four to five times as effective as normal fuel. So, if if you take your turbo fuel and make it into rocket fuel, you get a huge bump in productivity. Also, if you look at the rocket fuel recipe, then um, you can either do it from your turbo fuel. So, if you have turbo fuel, you can make six turbo fuel into ten rocket fuel. So, it's a huge boost in the amount of fuel. Plus, the fuel is more efficient. Or you can do this one, which skips the turbo fuel. Uh, this is the one I'm using, using normal fuel, four normal fuel into six. And look at, oh, here you can see the fuel value. 3,600 megajoule, but you, so you take four times something that's worth 750. So that is 3,000 megajoule inbound of fuel value. And then you get 144,000 megajoule of uh, fuel value out. So huge boost in fuel value if you use rocket fuel. So I wouldn't use anything except, and then um, ionized fuel is too expensive to use, in my opinion. The next logical step is to make coolant architecture around these modules so that they get the aesthetic feel. Oh, right. yeah, yeah you, you do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, This is a little bit difficult because I need the red pipe going in here and I need the output of this going in here, but I need from here to here. So they're all sort of blocking each other one way or another. And I don't know if I want to keep it like really compact. If I do It still has to go up. I don't like that. So if I do this, then I really block in my my turbo uh, my rocket fuel here. So I kind of need to make it a little bit closer, which then gets a little bit more difficult. Like make it here, for example. But then I kind of block that one off. Then I can kind of squeeze it in here. But then I kind of block that off. It's it's so annoying that I block it off no matter what I do. Um, 
So let's do something. Yeah. And pipe. Isn't going to be... Not great because it still has to go up for the next one. Maybe it would make more sense to go on this side. Yeah. Whoops, now I just ruined my uh, setup again somehow. There we go. Yeah, no. Hmm, that's not a good place. Okay, so let's go. Now I really need this design here, this uh, idea of uh, uh, straight pipes as well. Here, and then go up. Up, up, there. And then that would go... No. Why? Oh, this is... Oh, not the right height. Mm. Damn, this is complicated. So that must be this height, right? Yes. Can't believe they are, they are different heights. That's so weird. One, two, and then here, and then. Yes, please. There we go. It's the right height. It's okay. Uh, maybe do in a blueprint that these are uh, uh, these. It's it's. I will not do things in a blueprint if I only have to do it once. And this is definitely something I only want to do once. Right. <clears throat> Then this part has to come into a box. There. All right, let's kick this off and uh, get it going here. I don't like this part. Here. I should have it on that corner. That corner. That gets powered, this one gets powered, this one gets powered. There. This one gets over to the intersection here. And then it powers the next one, but also powers these two. Canisters. Go. And. Go. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, incoming. Yeah, that is rocket fuel. Packet rocket fuel. Pew 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 pew. Good. Dimensional storage box will be put on top. Yes, good idea. Did I turn the wrong way? Yes, I did. Oh, 
Oh, that is not a good place because that is exactly where I want my belts to go. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna get a belt out from here. Which I would like to have here. So that this one can go like that. Hmm. Oh, it actually has to be higher up anyway. That, that doesn't change the... F oh, that actually changes another fact. Because that means it has to be like that. Which means it has to be on top of this line. Right? No? Really? Nah, I think it'll still work if I do with that. What? It's outbound. Oh, right, it didn't rotate correctly. Uh, it's logical that pipe might one. Yeah, that's that could be a good argument. I don't think it really matters much. There. Oh, well, it solved itself because now there's no problem with this part. Huh, nice. So, good thing we didn't fix it and then moved it over to a problem at the place where it would be a problem. Ooh, this is also going to be an... I'm going to have another issue. Yeah, this one. Oh, come on. Seriously? Because the obvious thing is doing this part, but, you know... Mm. Not exactly pretty. How are we going to do this? Okay, well... It's going to be done in a... Oh, hold on. I can do this, and then I can do the other one. And then I can just place the other one next to it. I mean, we just got used to the fact that they should be on top, but they don't have to be on top. They could also just be that right there. And then we see the glorious way that this evenly splits. As you can see. And then we need to make a drone. A <laughs> glorious balancer. So... This drone should be actually uh, set up a schedule. This goes to... Oh, I wish we could change the name of that one. All ports. Can I change the name of this one? Mm. There. This one doesn't have a destination. Okay. Rocket powered, so we wonder how fast it is. Why doesn't it even the split? Please direct that question to Coffee uh, Stain because that is the most logical thing that it would split evenly. But new, 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 new. Goodbye, little drone. This is our first drone sending out. Come on, show the. Whee! That, that looks fast, right? That looks looks pretty fast. Yes, good. Um. Now we want to build providers here. Multiple providers that will be providing the rocket fuel to other locations. And I don't know how many, but if you make four, then it's probably not a bad idea. Hmm. Oh, come on. Why? Why Why are things just going to be teasing us so much here? Sorry, that's... Yeah. 
you know? And then... Okay, but I can move it back, though, so... shuffling here. Oh, look at that. It was supposed to be 120 inbound, but it's not coming in. What's what's the problem? Oh, the compacted coal. We forgot to uh, do the return one here. Shit. Okay, so that goes on top of the coal, but has to go a little bit out. On top of that one. Hmm. I don't particularly like this. I think that should be obvious to anyone. the junk oh we could also have used the coal for fuel actually huh funny but i don't want to do that so this will just take a little bit of time to clean up this one good so that started working again this one start working again and we're gonna have that done in Wish, 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 wish. Got it. And from here to here. No, no, no. That is. This is the. Ah, we miss a lot of places here. All right. So this has to be rocket fuel one. And that needs to both get the fuel and the outbound items. That is a crooked belt. Why? That means here. And this is the fuel. And then I'm going to rotate the other way. And then go. This is the input. And this is the. No. That was the fuel. And this is the input. This is the fuel. This is the input. This is the fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay, so this will take a while to fill up, but eventually it'll fill up and then we'll have rocket fuel one. Oh, we need the uh, drones. And I'm going to do that before I look in chat to see if anyone says, hey, your free build time is up. Didn't notice that if anyone said that. Deliver to the ports, uh, the rest of the ports to deliver rocket fuel. Yes, that's correct. So this one's called rocket fuel one. I don't know if I actually need more, but I think previously you could only have uh, one. One drone port could only have one destination. Oh, and nothing is powered here. So we'll also need to do that. should be yeah so that goes in here and should also go in here wonder why there's nothing going in here that's odd isn't it yeah 20 okay I have 20 and I want to see 21 yes I want to see something going in here. Hmm. Twenty. Where does it go? It's gone. It's not in in here. Oh, it goes into the drone. Ah, yeah. yeah okay. So there's twelve into the drone. Ah, right, right, right. Okay. So the drone is absorbing it already. Okay, well, that's going to take quite a while for these ones to fill up. But hey, eventually it'll fill up. That's all we need to know. Eventually this box will also fill up and then we'll have tons of stuff. You, rocket fuel, and you got some stuff inbound. Nice. 2.3 stacks per minute. Uh, that is 235 per minute. And I am consuming 90. So this is plenty to uh, to get back and forth let's see if this is as silly stupid as it was before we'll just fall down right oh look at that we're actually staying on top uh, well well that was exactly as successful as you could expect it to be so, they don't work for personal transport, unfortunately. So, that is it. This is now our drone port. That means now we can take somewhere out in the world and build a location, and then we can request some fuel inbound, and then we can go back. So, one of the options is that we go back to the bus and set up a requester for rocket fuel so that we can have anything that we want to provide outbound from the bus Um to somewhere i don't know why we'd want that but maybe we have something that we'd want to get out somewhere uh we don't want to do nuclear power we want to do offshore plastic and rubber because that is the stuff that i think will be running out first or should be running out but it doesn't seem i mean everyone says like oh the bus doesn't work because uh you're gonna run out of everything i mean i'm building quite a lot i'm building 15 supercomputers per minute and I'm not really running out of anything. Like, I have not built 15 supercomputers per minute before. And it's like, yeah. Just looking at the bus and go, hmm. I guess we're going to be uh, sinking our supercomputers. Because now we have a full full box of them. And uh, nothing seems to be running out. So I don't think this uh, rubber and plastic should be running out. It just doesn't seem to run out as fast as I would have expected. I would expect that as soon as we hook it up, then it'll start being problematic. But of course, there are also buffers here and there, and that will hide the problem. But I did let it run for quite a while. 
Soups must be stuck now. No, I think I activated the sink for the soups. Just to make sure that the base was going to run out or something for the start of the stream. Because I wanted it to run out. Faster transport. Oh, we have a drone somewhere coming at us. Where's the drone? Is the drone on the minimap? There it is. I really like the drones. This is a pretty fast drone. The pathing of the drones is pretty damn nice. It must, it must not have been easy to figure this out. Or maybe what they did, they did an elevation thing on the whole map and then they just sort of superimposed the elevation up and then this one now drives on that. But you can't really do that because you also have all the buildings they have to avoid. Why run the sinks? Why run the sinks running if you have enough coupons? Is that potential waste of resources we don't want to run out of? Uh, waste of infinite resources. I don't have anything for the coupons, but there's really no reason to not do stuff, like keep the base running. So I, I generally want to say like the last part of the production chain should be uh, sunk. There we go. There's something. Yay, rubber is running out. Thank you. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see something running out. And rubber is good. Wubber. Watch out the wubber. Release Waterick. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm sinking things. There we go. And that is a glorious sight, right? Is this? No, it's not actually sinking it. Okay, so that's good. So that means we are, all, without this, we are still running out of, so, okay, why is this one running out? Oh, because it's not quite full yet, but soon. Why not sink with the smart fill and overflow? Uh, that's literally exactly what I'm doing. I'm not sinking stuff that I need. I have a smart splitter here that makes sure that first it goes into the box and the dimensional storage and the bus. And then only when those are full, then they'll send any excess over to this one. But I'm still turning it off most of the cases because, I mean, I have 171 plus. Uh, do I also have some coupons in here? I also have 135. So I'm sitting on 300 coupons right now. So it's not really like I'm running out. And uh, this part here is just a glorious... 15 supercomputers per minute. So I build something. All right, let's, we are going to do plastic and rubber. Uh, add drone port in the beginning of the bus to get fuel. Yes, that was actually what I wanted to do, but I forgot now, but now I'm on the wrong end of the bus. So yeah. All right, let's talk about the rubber and plastic. Let's talk about plastic first. We got plastic. So the first thing we want to do is take crude oil. And um, then we want to get the crude oil in and we get some polymer resin and we get some heavy oil, 50 heavy, re heavy uh, residue. Then we get the heavy residue in here, plus a splash of water and then get a hundred fuel. So that's nice. hundred fuel will now go in here. Um, no, it can be done here with the polymer resin that we get from out here. Then we get some rubber. That one will come back to us, but um, here. We are going to take some plastic plus some fuel and then make a lot of rubber. I've scaled this down um, in this case, I guess. And there we'll do recycled plastic. And then we'll take the rubber we have here. Actually, hold on. This is outputting 100. So that has to add up to 100 each, this one. Uh, this is not. Oh, really? That's weird. Okay, so scrap this one for now. This is taking 30 plastic in plus 30 fuel and making 60 rubber. Okay, cool. Then we're going to take the 60 rubber in plus 60 more fuel and get 120 plastic out. Woohoo! And then we're going to take the plastic, take the 30 of those 120 plastic and feed back in here to make the rubber that we were just using. So this is a loop that is taking, these two to come together is basically taking 90 fuel in, getting 90 plastic out. That's it. 
but it needs to be started. This is why we have usually the resin uh, residual rubber to get this, to get the loop started. There we go. Oh, we already have them. We we got them. Um, and this is the usual one. Uh, actually, you want this to be residual plastic. It's much cheaper. No. Six polymers to two plastic. Four polymers to two rubber. Okay, this is cheaper. So you do this one. To restart the recycler. However. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. They can fit in here, but there's no way in hell you're going to fit inputs and outputs on this. Yeah, and 6x6 six six is not doable because we don't have a 6x6. Six six. Rush to 6x6? Six six? No, can't, can't do that because that's 6x6 uh, six six means a complete phase 4. So this is not an option. What are the two stories? They are, then I I can't fit anything on top of this. And I don't do that. Split in two. I have a better option. This one. What if we just throw that out? Then I only need four things. And the problem is, it needs to be kickstarted. So that's my idea. Because then I can just lead all of the resin out to the end. And then at the end just go like, yeah, and also make some more plastic out of that. You don't need a kickstart in every blueprint anyway. Yeah, actually I do. I do need it because I want to cycle it inside the blueprint and not uh, across blueprints. So actually I do want to cycle it inside the blueprint because it's still going to be a mess. Uh, so I do want to style each one. So that means I do need to start it. But the thing is, if I build X of these, I don't know how many, and it gets started, it will produce some resin the resin will go to the end, become plastic, if that's the build. Then at that point, I go like, oh crap, I need to restart it. Well, then I can just take that plastic and go bloop, 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 and then it started. I mean, we have to connect belts, we have to connect the pipes, we have to connect the power. So yeah, one more thing. Can you save the kickstart plastic in the blueprint? Not really. Uh, you can make a starter blueprint and then the plastic rubber blueprint row. Yes, that's also kind of what I want to do. Um, I want to make like the module for, for the majority of the work, like this part, and then have another one that feeds in. But it is a good point that if I could, let's say that we build it on a line like this, then we build it with uh, plastic coming out this way, but we could then send rubber, uh, the resin the other way so that at the back, that's where we get the res the, the resin. And then at the back of the row, we'll convert the resin into rubber or plastic and then send it backwards and then have it sort of be able to kickstart on the way in. That might not be the worst idea. Maybe. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, why did it not? Uh... Oh, this one really needs to be uh, saved. Recycled plastic, but it's not complete. Recycled plastic, yeah, it's called recycled plastic because that's kind of logical what it's for. There, and select the category. That's a specific build right there.
And let's, we have a lot of work to do, but I have to sort of figure out, can it even be, oh no, I forgot to color the pipes back at the other place. <laughs> nice transition. Thank you. Uh, so we get, I'm not sure I like this. I think I want this to be. Oh, right, right, right. Because I was thinking, you know, I want these to run at 100% and at 200%. But if I do that, then I need 90 fuel. 90 fuel is not a problem. But if I need 90 fuel, I need 45 here. If I need 45, then I need 37.5 here. And then it's like not a great number. Right? Um, if this one is outputting just 45... Ah, right. Another hey, loyal patron is active. 33.75. That's an awful number. So if we're sort of looking at how big can we build this build, then 33.75 EU is not great. Uh, can people download your blueprints to use uh, of the workshop? Uh, yes, they are available to patron supporters. All blueprints are. And that's how I'm going to continue to do it. So it's a uh, we spend the time here on building it, and if, uh, if if you are not a patron, then you can just sit and build along as you want. But uh, if you are a patron, you can also just download it. Right. So let's walk through what this does. So I didn't I didn't want to scale this one up because it then breaks the numbers here, right? Alternatively, I would sort of scale everything up so that it would be this one would be scaled up at maximum, and then sort of go down from there. But I don't think I need it. I, I, I don't feel that that's a problem. I don't mind having, whether I have six or seven modules, it, I don't really care. Like once you build a module, stamp it down, be happy about it. Um, so this module is taking 30 oil inbound and uh, 80 water and then makes 80 plastic outbound. Could you make kickstart module? Then you could put a programmable splitter on each module, then use a sushi belt. Nope. Nope, you cannot do a sushi belt. Uh, I think that I would never do something like that. Maybe it's theoretically possible, and that would be make a great Reddit post, but it's just so fragile. It's so fragile by by doing those kind of things. I wouldn't even know how to do it, and if I did it, it would find some weird edge case that would make it jam, and then go like, ah, fuck! Of course that jams when. It not doesn't have enough water because then something and then something something and you know it's it's it, you're you're building this is something I learned from a running a support organization for IT as well like when you when I worked in a development department that would be my solution but when I also became responsible for the support I would just throw away such ideas because they were like you're just building complexity and fragility into the system and that's a pain in the ass to support. Especially in a place like uh, Satisfactory, where suddenly you don't get plastic, then you have to travel across the map to go over there and realize there's this edge case. But I, I mean, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm saying that this is not the way I like to build my factories, especially not in Satisfactory, where we don't have any remote view, map view, uh, teleport. You know, there's a lot of things that just, and if it breaks, then pff, takes a while for us to notice because there are no warnings about, hey, this box is now empty. So, yeah. Anyway, um, let's walk through it. Heavy oil comes in here. And that means this is a heavy oil built, a heavy oil pipe. Good. Goes up. Uh -huh. That's the only thing. Then we have heavy oil residue. No, no, crude oil, sorry. Heavy oil residue goes straight in. That's it. And this is then the resin. This resin is currently going that way but it should probably go this way uh, so it goes at the back of the line instead of at the front of the line how high can you build in the game very high up to that point I think it's close to up to this part of the space elevator don't you need a pump to go up I don't need a pump here but I can need a pump somewhere on this line Hi, much higher. Okay, never mind. So, not a problem, but it's still really high. So it's not really the kill box is up there, 
Probably not all the way up. <laughs> um, so it's not really a, a concern, the height of it. Um, that's like, again, a Reddit post. Okay, but that means the resin is just a junk belt. Then we get that in here together with the water. Water is coming in here and I am deliberately doing something about the water. What is it I'm doing about the water? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm making sure that there's room for two water because water is actually the stuff that is highest throughput, 80. So I'm not gonna be able to get enough water with one water pipe. So I need to make sure that the water design actually caters for a second water line next to it. And there's barely room for it. I tested it, there's room for it. By having them kiss and all the way, then there's room for it. So I can make it and there's also room for moving this, this part here over there. So it's all good. So that's very important about waterline because everything else will be, I'd like to scale it towards having a full belt of plastic outbound. Um, right, and this is the main plastic outbound belt. And how does it work? Well, uh, okay, let's, let's trace it. Out of this one, we get the fuel. Fuel comes in here. It has to go up and I don't know if this is a problem, but if it is, then there's still room for us to smash this one in here. I hope I don't have to, but if needed, then we will. So that goes in here. Like this is again like compressing, compressing as much as possible. Uh, you're pretty sure I built a pyramid. Yes, I built a very pyramid, an ecology actually. Uh, okay, so out of this comes plastic. There. So plastic comes out. There. Oops, there goes in here. Plastic goes into the other one. No, out of this one comes rubber. Sorry. And then rubber comes in. Plastic goes out. 106.667. And the plastic that comes out goes into a smart splitter, which is saying, Mm, which way is the smart split actually located? It's located this way because this is the out. The, the, this is where that I get the plastic out of the factory. It comes in and says, main one goes to the right, which is feeding the rubber build, and the secondarily it goes into this one, which is um, gonna go up and make go onto the bus and be home and happy. So, how would we, given that this is the condition? How would we design it so that any resin that comes in could be added to the belt without causing it to jam? That would have to be put into this belt because this belt is the one that has to be full all the time. And if it's full, then it's fine. So I guess this part would be where we get the bonus plastic back. So we get bonus plastic on this belt then we can branch it off and link it in here. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Run to headlift issues, putting pipes in from below. Not if I have a single pump somewhere. I just need one pump somewhere, then it's not a problem. This is brilliant. Thank you for reminding me about this or not just reminding me, but actually blah, blah. actually getting me to do this. Nice. So this is a good, good build. So, um, hmm. it could also just go in here, <laughs> but that would not be correct, but I could make it a splitter here and then merges in here. So that it prioritizes. No, I don't want to do. That. I don't want to do that. That can just come out at the at the end, just coming out of two butt. Right. That should be fine. Yes. Oh. 
Any tips for early tickets? I was holding out for an alien multiplier, but lost hope to get that anytime soon. I don't know what an alien multiplier is. Early, early tickets are probably the easiest with DNA. Because the DNA gives you so much uh, from the beginning. So yeah. Yeah, and quickwire uh, quick silica is... Um, yeah. That's a lot of stuff that you can just get early tickets. The first tickets are really simple to get. So, yeah. I'm... Yeah, sloops and DNA, but you need to have that unlocked, which is, I don't know, defining early game. I love this build now, by the way. I love it. I think it's amazing. So what does this build do? Let's, uh, let's look at it here. It makes 80 plastic from 30 cool, uh, 30, uh, this part stuff, whatever, whatever that is. And if we have a belt 600 divided by 80, mm, seven and a half module. Well, there is also the other part, 20, 20 resin becomes Uh, two thirds of a plastic. <laughs> Damn. That, that, well, no. It, Twenty plastic becomes. It's divided by three, so it, something six point something six point six six extra plastic. So I would get this module is actually providing eighty six point six 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 times six modules is five twenty times seven modules, it's just perfect, right? So seven modules of this will consume seven times 30, 210 oil, that's not much, and 80 times seven, 560 water, which is perfect. That's one pipe, so not even running out of pipe problems. What is your biggest Dyson Sphere you made in DSP? Not much, uh, one terawatt. Wubba, it's slightly better, and then the wubba would turn back into plastic. Sure, sure, I, I know that, but then I would have to guarantee that all of it goes in here, and I can't really do that. So I'm, I think I want to go... Mm. Yeah, I, I, it is slightly better. You're absolutely right. How much slightly better is it? It would give me... I can't guarantee that it will not jam, can I? Yeah, I think I can. What does the color code red and green? Uh, this is the old build and this is the new one. So I, it's just they didn't update properly in the blueprint because those were pre-existing builds and the Blender updated, but the other ones didn't update. So that's why there's a complete mess of colors in here. So I hope it f it gets fixed when I uh, uh, save it and reload it. Right, I think you're right. I think we have to do rubber every time. So here's the thing. We are going to take seven modules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> seven modules that means i need i will produce seven times 10 70 rubber inbound which will then come in on this belt not much but a little bit and that will go in here and then it will merge evenly with the other ones so it'll easily be able to absorb anything and we won't be in a position where it jams because there's no sort of priority merger it'll just merge one one which means it has to balance 70 versus here it's actually 30 already for one module and it's 70 over seven modules. So it just has to absorb 10 in this module, which means it's less than half. Basically, I'm just making sure that the residual belt coming back with rubber won't ever be in a position where that fills up faster than it can empty because then it'll gradually just fill up and then the resin will fill up and then the machines will stop and then it'll jam. So I need to make sure that it doesn't work. To get crude onto my starter base. Close on is 2,000 meters away. 
uh, you build your plastic and rubber at that location and get it back. I would not build pipes for two, th two kilometers because it's painful. I would bring it into, make it into plastic and rubber and then belt it because belts are easily just go up and down and over and under, but pipes are just like, oh, suddenly no more head lift, down, over, under. Yeah, and if you're talking early games, since I, that's what I mentioned that you're doing. Need the buildings, you can, can you not make one building for every part? What? Can you not make one building for every part? No. Okay, so this has to be different um, because this is now merging into the plastic line and it should merge into the rubber line. Oh, no, that's less awesome because now I can't do that. Okay. Here to here, from here to here. Yeah. Um, also not sure that's actually what I want. Oops, that was a mistake. Undo! Why do I not have undo? Just, this is... Just restoring the, the mess I made before. What? I rotated it incorrectly. There. This could even be a splitter. A priority splitter to force it to uh, maybe I actually want to do that just really forcing it forcing it in here there smart splitter that will be any and overflow right so it comes in here this is the residual rubber and residual rubber and then it will try to force it in here and then only excess will move on. So it'll try to get rid of it before the belt stops. That should be good. Don't forget my break again. I like this belt. Let's save it before I break it. Um, 80 per minute plus 20 resin. And uh, it's recycled plastic, recycled rubber, and heavy oil residue. Those are the. Oh, and there's also the um, diluted everything, <laughs> diluted fuel. Okay, so there's four recipes. All recipes are actually uh, alternates. Heavy oil residue, diluted fuel, recycled rubber, recycled plastic. Nice. Cool. Save and happy. Release. O39. And no bonus hour today, unfortunately. Alright, be back in two minutes. See you in a bit.
welcome back thank you for joining tonight <clears throat> remember it's september so if anyone wants to subscribe and consider subscribing then uh, now is a good time to do that uh is there a reason why the platform is one and a half wall high and not two two uh don't know what you mean if you mean that why it's too high then um and that's exactly the reason why it's too high. It's not one and a half, it's two. And would it be possible to do change? Yes, probably would. But um, I don't like that idea because that means you have to go in here, change the recipe, see it operate, change it back, and then hope that things do not get jammed or something. So I think that's a more complicated solution. Um, I am going to load the blueprint itself. And see if the colors are okay now. Because they're bothering me. There we go. Good. So now let's uh, paint everything. And since this is a blueprint, then I have to paint it with um, with the uh, the custom color and not with a... I, okay, let me just explain it. If I use the swatches, then if you don't have the same swatch, you get swatch number 17 in your in your game and swatch number 17 in your game might be something completely different so it sucks it's not a great idea so instead it's um uh, i will paint them with the custom swatch in the color that they need to be so that when you load it up they will be colored that color instead of having a reference to swatch number 17 or 16 or whatever so um now i just need to find out fuel and actually put it in swatch number 18 because that's weird Hey Carter, thank you for the 13 months. Twitch didn't show it. My alerts. No, that's why I'm I'm your alert settings home. here. Uh, didn't I have a satisfactory satisfactory wiki uh, fuel? Ah, direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to get that noise maker out. And we're going to be going in here, and I'm going to put it into swatch this one, because why not? There. Okay. But this is also the color we want. This is going to be the fuel color, so let's put that in. Doot, 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 doot. Doesn't make much of a difference, but it, it's kind of, ugh. Yeah, they have to be like that. They are the right shape, but they just don't do what they want to do. So now let's do heavy. We have heavy, oh, is that heavy? I don't know which one's heavy. Let me go in and scan it. There. Yeah. So, we go up here. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise this. Thank you, Factor Mushkalaja. Thank you very much for a gift sub. Where are you from? I'm from Denmark. Color? Ew. That's no good. That is a sign of temporary junk. Oh, this is now a cheaper pipe. Ah, sure, let's get Our the cheaper pipes. And Night Shroud, thank you for the 47 months. Ooh, look at that. That's activity on the sub thing. And Anonymous with the 200 bits. Much, appre much appreciated. And this will now be water. So, um, we're going to go down here. This is the water swatch. Which we just put up into this one. And actually select it. Good. And then we get the actual heavy oil or the crude oil. Oh, we are so close to a potentially new hype train. And that is there. And click it. Boop, boop, boop. And any pipes that are not colored? Nope. All the pipes are colored. Good. 
and Buntor, thank you for the 27 runs. And Tallman, thank you for the 200 bits. And that is the hype train activated. And Mr. Himini, thank you for a gift up here. Okay, so uh, rules are as usual. We get one unlock hop recipe with a tier one hype train, if we get that. And we can unlock one. Oh, hold on. We've completely forgotten the man. Plutonium fuel cell, we'll take it. That seems like a fancy thing. Take like high tier things, we take that. And then if we can't do anything, we reroll. And then if we still don't have anything interesting, then we take something out. Yeah. On initial hand fit, just jumpstart. It actually doesn't anymore. We think. I think. So that's going to be super interesting to see how that pans out. Oh, what the hell is that one doing? You. Supposed to be there. There. There you go. That's better. Mods disabled achievement? Yes, but I'm not using mods. I'm using uh, advanced game modes, which does still disable uh, achievements. So yes. Why has no one said that I need to disable this? No build, no cost build. Not that it really matters. We have so much uh, resource, but still just for she sheer principles as well. Right, so now I want to mark what is on each. Oh, there's still a mistake. This one is pointing the wrong way because I need to feed it the other way. You can see this is going going out and coming this way. I actually want to push it backwards. Yeah, I think so. There. One, two, and three. Take this out. Take this. There, so that goes the wrong way. Now let's mark each of these locations with what I want in each pipe or what is in each pipe. And I should mark them here. Ghost of Phoenix, thank you for the 500 bits. Choo choo. Yes, there is a little bit of choo choo. Little bit of choo choo. That should be pretty clear that this is the belt we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Hype Train is still parked at the station. Will we get it off the ground, off the station here? Uh, if I mark it here in between, then it's not clear whether it belongs to one or the other. So I'm actually instead, uh, I'm going to do that. Anyway, because that's consistently always on the right hand side, so we'll try to do the consistency thingy. Hey, Tegavaro, thank you so much for the tier 3 for 6 months in advance. Ooh, and that tier 3 is like 5 normal subs, so that got us to a level 1. So we can get the final research of uh, we have to be to unlock. Yeah. Okay, so we now can copy, copy and paste, copy and paste. Just makes it easier for you as well. There. Plus the rubber there, or oh, sorry that, and this one will then be um, yeah. 
There we go. So that's pretty clear. So it's not like, oh, why am I supposed to get rubber there? Then it says, oh, from resin. Got it. How much am I missing for phase four unlock? Um, pasta. That's the one. Like, this is the one thing we can't make. We can't make nuclear pasta. Um, and everything else we can make. Hey, Donnie, thank you for this 39 months. Look at that. We're Welcome making a tiny bit of progress through our... Uh, so we need to make nuclear pasta, which means pressure cubes. We have don't have pressure cubes. We have that. I think that... Uh, what are the other ones called? Thermal. Fused modular frames, we don't have that. And turbo motors, we don't have that. So basically all of it. Uh, what are the other ones? Yeah, so... There are four things we haven't done for this tech level, and that is uh, fused modular frames, turbo motors, pressure cubes, and nuclear pasta. Once we have those, we are going to build uh, the the box crafters, which is not going to be that bad. I only need to make 50 nuclear pasta. Right. So if anyone wants to subscribe or help, help out or something like that. Uh... Splitter will snap correctly at to the end of a belt. Just like the pipe junction. Very useful changing things. Oh, okay. Also snapping to the, the well grid. I like this. I think this is done. Uh, it's colored. It's all sorts of things. I think it's done. It's actually funny that this cons control console is inwards. That you're supposed to walk from here. But I guess that's because it's supposed to be worked from the ground anyway. And then I need to go in here and then click that one. Otherwise, it doesn't recognize that stuff is new. There. Now that's saved. Maybe. Hopefully. Awesomely. Now, I actually should... Text and signs? What do you mean? I have text and signs. And I also have it here. Um, so now I think I want to go and find out where to build it. And my initial thought is, oh man, this map, this map is so useless. Um, it's totally overcrowded. I could just build it here. Like I know, I know I should be doing all sorts of weird things and all that stuff, but I have pu two pure nodes right here. It's so simple to just go and build a platform there and just happy, done. I need water. It's right next to it. It's pretty close. We can bring it in by drones. I mean, I don't... I don't know why I would want to go further away. Like, I can also go up here, but it's just a really annoying place. And I don't really get anything from it. Yeah. All right. One minute left on our hype train. We are at a level one. We need 13 subs to get to level two, if that is an... It's a thing. These ones, they're nice. But it's a really annoying place to build. Then I'd basically have to drag it all the way out here to build it, which I don't really like. Yeah, blue crater is this... Uh, where's that? It's here, right? There's oil right here, I think. I don't know why I would want to do that. All right, so I guess the hype train is... Dark spot down there? Yeah, okay. There's no reason to do that. Okay. Never mind. I mean, the, this is right here. It's right there. And this, I, I've, I'm not into just making things more complicated for myself. This is not what we do. By the way, that fence, I'm going to show you. Oh, that was the hype train. Thank you for that. Get one free unlock. Maybe we'll remember that. So this is um, off the map. And I was, uh, I've been planning out to sort of see if I have enough space. And by the way, I totally regret making this empty line between, because that's the singularity cells. And this fence, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. That's the well, that's the kill zone. I don't really think it needs to be that big, honestly. If I think about it. Like this, this platform here is pretty small and does everything. I just need two lines of seven factories. 
seven modules. So one module is five by five. So seven, that's 35. So 35 modules, one, uh, 35 foundations one way. And then nine plus nine. No, actually nine plus seven. That's it. Nine plus seven, that's 16. So 16 by 34 plus, actually one more. So 35, that's 40 plus something start, something end. So 16 by 50 is how much we need to make, which is not that big. I could make it, uh, let's try make it. First time catching you live, welcome. Uh, how do you feel about the Northern Forest being nerfed? Uh, used to start and copy. I mean, no matter what they do, if they nerf one and buff another one, there will be one that's better than the other ones. And currently, uh, the rocky desert is a rocky, whatever. The boring location here is by far the best one. Like the, this amount of coal here and here and oil right there and quartz and Sam. I mean, so good, so good, so easy. So, I mean, there will always be something that one that's better than the other ones. And let me just see, and I'm going to do this. And you'll go like, oh, you can do it on the map. Like, I don't care. I want to see that one. Bling, bling. And then I want to see that one. That's the pure as well. And there's like a weird, isn't it also like a weird thing here? Like that one, is that oil? That's also crude oil. Like in a weird bubbly sense. But I don't need it. I just need this crude oil, and I need that crude oil. And I need somewhere to build something. On top of this one? Yeah, that's fine. We'll build it on top of this. Sure. Well, great. Ma'am, yes. Thank you, ma'am. There we go. Let's see what we get. Some juicy stuff. Fertile uranium. Fertile. What the hell? Fertile? How is that fertile? How does it make it fertile? Uranium waste plus uranium with a splash of nitric acid and a splash, a dash of sulfuric acid gets us uranium. non fissile uranium. Hmm. Interesting. I will take it. That's a unique and new and weird building. So I don't know. Never seen that before. So we'll just start it. That's 10. That's 16. Mm -hmm. And then I've built 11 deep. Yeah. And it's there and there. So I can do like 20 more this way. Or 10 more this way at least. Now it's 21 and I need to be about 50, 50 by 16, actually not really 50. It's 40 plus then whatever perimeter around and the perimeter has to be two on either end. Uh, so that's 44 and then I need some extra space for drone ports. So yeah, maybe it is actually. And that's a pretty good line. It doesn't have to go like straight up, but let's keep it. 22, 23, 24. That's good. Dystopian novels begin with the undercity of no sun in sunlight. Yep. So that's 24, which becomes now 34.
Concrete. No. Why you no concrete? Hmm. All right, we'll build something else in the meantime. We'll go down and clear stuff. Oil extractor. The creature's in the way. Mm -hmm. Let's solve that problem. I know one technique for killing these, and that is brute force and ignorance. And then just take some copium afterwards. That's my one technique for uh, for this wildlife. Eh, I actually want to do... Yeah, exactly. If brute force doesn't work, you're not using enough. True. Ah, crap. This is a little bit more annoying. Let's go with this one. Why are you not dead? There's something about that there has to be powered buildings before they stop spawners, which I went to no. like that but here I really like these big ones they are surprisingly nice mm, this might very well be exactly where I want to bring it in so let's not do that Good, so they are now powered and they are 600 each. There. Sweet. This one probably needs to be taken out as well. Do we have more of the power, uh, the concrete now? And 900, okay. And this would add up to 34, so. And then it'll be next one will be 44, and then we'll see. Yeah, this is not gonna work already. All right, wait a little bit, and then we uh, start changing to this because this is what we want to build it at. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. 
five. So this is where one of the modules, this is going to be the module that we haven't designed yet, but this is the module that is uh, the residual module. Making all the residuals into rubber. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have no idea how many that is. Two, three, four. Oh, this one also recovers a little bit of concrete. So I actually get a little bit of concrete back in my inventory by doing this. So that's one block. Uh, I think I want to build some kind of barricade here. One, two, three, four, five. I've built, I've misplaced it so many times. So please mention it if I misplace it there. One, two, three, four, five. Apparently, sort of basic counting is beyond me. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I don't know. Two, three, four, five. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six modules. Without flying, a significant award in this game is unlocking increasingly better ways to get around. What keeps you motivated without these intermediate incentives? The factory building. I'm build I, I want to design factories, but I also know that like obviously if this was the first time I played the game, I would be super excited about going out and finding weird things and exploring and all that stuff. And get every summer's loop would feel like a victory and everything. But I have been roaming this damn game so many times so many times before that that's not what gets it i also think that at this point i played the game so much that i i have one more playthrough in me and that's this one once i'm done with this one once we've unlocked everything we leave it for factorio then i it's going to be a damn good reason for us to come back because would i come back and go out and farm 300 mercer spheres and 100 summer sloops and 100 hard drives no, I probably wouldn't. So, okay, so that part of the game would be out, which it already is now. All right, well, then I'm going to have to... I'm going to be focused on the factory building. Well, I already have pretty good builds for everything at that point in the blueprints. So, like, uh, the factory building is kind of already done. So why am I coming back, right? So it has to be something... Something that makes me come back. And at tier 10 is not really going to be it. Instant plutonium cell. Instant. Go straight from uranium to plutonium. That's weird. Sure, we'll take it. That's a lot of interesting there. Yeah, the hunt is a ton of time, yes. and But it's just that I feel that kind of the same way as I feel about Vanilla Factorio right now. Like, what, what should I... It's one of those things that I'm... The most annoying comment in for my youtube videos is is exactly the part where you're like you're playing it like factorial why are you playing it you you should have fun with this game and the way that it's intended to play i'm like just like i'm playing it in a way that i feel is both fun for me and i feel it's crazy effective compared to anything i've done before and i do have a little bit of experience with factory games so i think i can be a pretty good measuring stick for effectivity in terms of builds. And then like, okay, should I then deliberately sort of play with one hand behind my back and closed eyes and all that stuff just to make it more fun by playing it less effective? It's the same reason why if I played Factorio, would I go like, ooh, blue science. That's so exciting. I've never done that before. Ooh, however I'm no I, of course I've done it before and it's it's not really magical it's just it's just blah there we go that's blue science done like it's not fun to design the same thing for the tenth time at least not for me so the whole thing about like oh but you you want to experience that unique and effective way for me the fun in these kind of games comes primarily from building something, coming up with new cool designs and new cool ways of doing things and effective ways of solving existing problems. But once they're solved, there are small tweaks, but that 
then it's solved. There has to be something else. That's why mod packs. That's why challenge runs. That's why waiting for expansions. That's why when I play a game then and I like it, I want to come back when there's something new. So. When someone complain about the way you play a sandbox game, welcome to the internet. Welcome to the YouTube comment section. <laughs> That's... That's why spending 200 hours designing architecture. Exactly. If if you enjoy that aspect, by all means. I have found that I'm not very good at it. I can make a, a, a fancy box, but it's still going to be a box. One, two, three, four, five. So this is... This was six modules, but one of them is the bonus module. So it's actually five modules. This is number six. Two, three, four, five. That's number seven. One, two, three... Uh, hold on. Wasn't there only seven modules? Yeah. So this is this is also about what what is the fun for me one two three, and and it's it's kind of the way that when you read a book and it's a really good book and you want to rush to the end because you want to figure out what's happening in this book and you get to the end and then it's over or maybe for you younger keep people who don't know what a book is but then like a, a binging a Netflix show. So you see that there's a new exciting show and you watch episode one and go like, ooh, this is cool. And then you want to watch all the shows and then you rush to the end. And then at the end, they go like, oh, well, I can't just reverse and watch it again, can I? Because it's not going to be the same thing. It's kind of how I feel with a lot of factory games. I feel like I want to solve them. But once they're solved, I mean, then they're solved. Then the puzzle is solving it. The puzzle is not sort of... I mean, then just enjoy the fact that it's solved and how to work with it. But aside from that, it's, yeah, it's solved now. And Factorio took a long time before I finally got to a point where I feel like, yeah, I, I have different different options of different ways of working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why the hell can I not count to seven? God damn it. Can't wait for counting to seven. It's getting me emotional, especially because I counted to nine. It was supposed to be... Well, okay, this is not completely off. I'm going to argue that this is actually okay. Because there are seven modules that are the standard module. And then there there's one module for the resin to rubber. And then there's one module at the other end for sort of putting it on a something and wrapping it up. And drones. Yeah, this is the drone part. Yeah. Uh, why is the main boss even so frowned upon in Satisfactory? It's working like a child. It is the same reason why it's frowned upon in Factorio. It is, if you go to Reddit, there was this, there was this post, and I love that post. It, I was not mentioned in the post, but I was kind of implicitly mentioned. I loved it. It was kind of awesome. Um, so, there was this someone like, what are the alternative to making a main boss? And then, most of the replies were in the sort of like city blocks. Yeah, you can do city blocks and trains with city blocks. And and I was like, <laughs> they're mentioning me without mentioning me because like it, it's so cool. to. I haven't played the game in a long time and I'm not really as prominent as I was in the factorial scene because other people have come up and think, but the legacy still remains. The fact that the city blocks is so ubiquitous that that's what everyone says is the alternative to a main bus. It's just, it warms my heart. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I'm, I made it a little bit big. 54 blocks, no, 44 blocks. I thought it was 44, but I got carried away. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so. I love the fact that I have invented the stuff that is the alternative to the main bus but i'm also a proponent of the main bus but anyway the point was also that like people seem to love to hate on it because it's like oh that's such a noob way and then you see their base and then it's a complete awful mess of overcomplicated circuit conditions with trains that blah, it's just like you, you just you want to make it complex to make it complex to go like ha ha no one can understand my factory like i can and i can't myself and and sure that's a fine challenge but is it better 
like this is one of the things when when um before we had the train limits in factorio there was this uh this vanilla train network that was really circuit based and it could do all sorts of crazy things well no not really but it, it could do a lot of things but it was so fragile and it was so weird difficult to set up and like it was it was good for a showcase video of just showing like oh look at this what you can do with circuits but i would not build my base around it because it's really hard to debug and it's really complex as a content creator to communicate how it works because you're going to get the same question like how many times do we get the question of why are you flying how are you flying um like so i'm going to have to ask answer the same question and if i have an overly complicated setup of my factories then i'm going to have to explain the same thing many many times when i make when you see the bus and you know anything about factor, factory games in general, then you go like, oh, it's a main bus. Interesting. Does that work in such factory? Hmm. Then the questions become a little more educated, like how does that work inside a factory? Or how do you manage the balancing of multiple belts inside factory? Eh, much more interesting question than what's that base? So it's for me, clarity of build is a really high priority in uh, as a content creator. Could say the alternative is a uh, spaghetti belt weave. It is. The parallels to software engineering is funny. It's not just funny. It's uh, it is uh, it's inherent. It's it's yeah. It it's just the way it is. It, it's completely the same. There are developers who love building uh, overly complex solutions, and it's they're, they're beautiful. Look at the code. It's so beautiful, and no one can read it. No one can understand it. No one can decipher it, and no one can certainly support it except you. But it's beautiful. It uses the most obscure techniques that are found in deep corners of of C plus plus libraries that no one else knows, but I know it, and it's beautiful. I saved one line by making it completely obscure. Like, God damn it! And that's. My job and pretty much do the same thing I came from. Yeah, called job security. That's that's true. If you want to look at it that way. So I don't know. Should we just stamp down the blueprints and then be happy, and or should we design the last bit module first? Let's stamp it down. Let's do some stampy, stampy, stampy. Recycle plastic. So power shots. Funny. Two power shots. Why are there two powers? Oh yeah. Um, power shots. We. How do we have no power shots in storage? I mean, we do have a little, a few slugs of sorts. That that makes no sense to me. Oh, right, I know our power plant. I just shot it. <laughs> we'll just man first. Let's see if we get something interesting. Oh, heat fuse frame. Nice. I don't think I want it, but it's an alternate fuse frame. That's not great. Um, I should make something else that I don't care about so much. There. Because the first one will not work. And I want to shot it, but I can't because that's the whole point of this. Hmm. So I, I start by making something useless and in order for me to get the first one, because the first one doesn't work. The first one will not get the multiplier, so I don't want to waste one of these to waste five power shots. Yeah. Uh, those the stack to 500, for example, is usually not great. What? Stacking? Putting? What? My friend and I adapted the main bus style, but we try... To have a little extra product in the bus, copper wire screws. Ooh, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that for exactly that reason. It's uh, it's it's bad compression, and you can easily find stuff that needs hundred plus 
um, screws or wire and then you really don't want to drag it off the bus and drag it onto the bus because then you're going to be belt constrained a lot. Main bus with trains with everything that's going to be taking a painfully long time to do in in uh, in sets factory. In Factorio sure I like the idea in Factorio I don't think it's particularly effective but I like the idea. I mean, you don't technically have to sit here and watch it because we got the builds for it now. So we can go back to our blueprint. Blueprint. Right. I am looking at... There. This is the input side. So that's not it. I have to rotate it like that. It has to be pointed away from us because the input side is... Uh, this is the input side, but it has... the. The plastic has to go that way. That's what I mean. There. It's crazy how efficient this is now. How much of a difference this... The blueprint plus the dimensional depot. Damn, that's... Okay, now we're out of quartz crystals. It's always quartz crystals first. Let me just get this one, then I'll answer the questions. There, that's three modules, four modules, cool. And we need seven, so let me answer, and then with, are your blueprints free? No. Well, I mean, what do you mean? They cost things in the game, and, uh, but, so they're not free, and uh, if you mean that you can get them, then they are a perk that I give to Patreon supporters. So there are people who support my channel monetarily. That's how I pay the bills. That's how I feed my cats and kids. And uh, they like food. And and in order for that, there has to be some income. And it can't just be relying on, on the uh, Twitch hype trains. So patrons is how I pay the bills. And uh, I want to give something back to the patrons and also incentivize why... Um, uh, incentivize people to support if they're sort of on the on the cusp give you that compelling reason so that's why so the short answer is it's it's a patron support thing anyway there was a question Lucanus, i know this is an in, this is very individual but i'm a big factorio fan dyson sphere and other factory games didn't pull me oh dyson sphere and other fact didn't pull me that much will satisfactory do i'm not a big i guess fan of First person, I guess that's FPP is first person PPs in that type of game. Uh, you're a big Factorio fan, but you didn't like Dyson Sphere or other factory games, then I don't see Satisfactory being a game for you. It's because if you like Factorio, but not something as awesome as Dyson Sphere, then you are maybe a bit more hardcore in your... More, more engineer and less sort of aestheticist. And uh, and and satisfactory is really about like the immersion into the world and feeling that you are in the factory, which is something you can often want to do in a. I, I feel it with Factorio. Like I want to be sort of feel it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I wouldn't expect that. If you were like, I love Factorio, I love Dyson Sphere, I love Captain of Industry, uh, is this going to be something for me? I'm like, yeah, sure, it probably will. I don't love DSP, but Satisfactory somehow appeals to me. Psh, weird. Um, and we've built up a repository again. I need to make sure that it's pointing the right way. There we go. Uh, is the large power pole reaching distance the same as in 1.0? Talking about Factorio. Yes, but quality, quality extends the range. So uh, I'm really, I'm, I am very, very close to deciding that my designs will be focused on uncommon quality substation grid. That's 20 by 20 on all other planets. And it's one of those things where it's going to make things a little bit annoying to everyone who is who doesn't have it. But it's also one of those things that 
if I can sort of push it out and go like, you really need to make uncommon quality substations. It's just better. Now you you can use all my blueprints. But I don't know. It's it's kind of uh, this is one of the things where I I I love what they've done and I hate what they've done because it's so much harder to make generic blueprints because oh but I have uncommon this and what about this and uh, it's really hard to assume anything in blueprints but I I I really want to design my my things against the 20 by 20 grid instead of 18 by 18 grid because it's just too a little bit too close uh you have bigger build area or faster ch faster charging um there how many did we build one two three four five six one more This is a perfect balance between Factorio and Satisfactory. Yeah, Mar Marodox, I think that's a good point. I, I think it looks absolutely fantastic, unlike Factorio. And it has really large, awesome scale, like Factorio. So, this actually doesn't have any ultra late gameplay, right? Oh, it does. It does. I mean, it, it does have the next next tier that we are working on, right? You, know, you can blueprint on your hotbar. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I'm gonna build this seven times, and that's it. So putting it on my hotbar for that isn't really. I can also just do this, then I get it as well, which is arguably simpler. You see that? Hmm. So I kind of want to design it on site, or but I also want to just make a blueprint for it. So let's make a blueprint for it, uh, even though it's gonna be right here. Now let's make it over here. Look at that. That was pretty quick. If it wasn't for me chatting away. There. Let's make a blueprint plan up. Uh, hold on. What makes sense for me to look at a blueprint? When I look at the blueprint, I want things coming in from that side, right? Yes. Seriously, are we break again? Ah, it sucks. And we don't even have a bonus hour today. This it sucks. Breaks again. Ah, man. There's no way we can do all of this in the time we have allotted. So, what is it we want to do? This is going to make 20 resin. So I will get 140 resin inbound. So we need to deal with 140 resin. And we also know exactly where it's coming from. We don't have a bonus hour yet. I would be very surprised if we get a bonus hour. It was such a shame that when... when me put in 76 subs and we couldn't get it then i kind of don't feel that we're gonna get it now uh oh all of this has to move on yeah you know what i'm gonna empty this let's see what we got you 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 scan again you 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 uh, okay i'm gonna take one because we have to take one okay i think we might start to run out of good stuff but hey i am happy to be surprised because i wouldn't mind getting this build done today otherwise i have to complete it uh, on my own tomorrow for the tube Yeah. I'm really strict about the whole thing. It has to be a level five. And the reason why is because otherwise it'll it'll always be like, oh, but what about what about and and also and and then there's this patron thing and then there's the and it just becomes. And, and uh, an argument where I have to sort of be rejecting or, or making a judgment call every time. And I don't think that's that's the whole point. So.
All right, so this is where we have to get the outbound of the rubber. This is where we have to allow the water to go through, but we actually have to leach a little bit of water from it. This is a problem. And then this will be the oil that goes through, but just passing through, right? So let's uh, make sure that this one is just a pass through. And the water will also kind of be a pass through, but uh, that's actually a problem because we're using Oops. 80 times 7. That means there's only 40 left in the pipe. And how much are we going to use for this? More than 40. Right. And this one will be... There you go. Two of these. That means it's 70, it's 140 water we need inbound. You leave room for a second water pipe, but it's just sad that I have all of this and then I have to bring another water pipe in just for this one. Teeny tiny little thing, it little sucks, right? From water from both sides? Mm. Not sure I like that. I think I'll just get water from here. It's not that much water. Shot a pipe, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is a boring build, but hey, it's it's gotta be done. Sure. Okay, so I will take a, did I save? No, I did not save. Release 040. There. All right, we'll be back in two minutes and then we'll see what we can do in the last hour. Be back in a bit. And welcome back. Thank you for joining. I've also updated my schedule for next week. And the schedule for next week will be satisfactory. Four days of satisfactory. I don't know what I'm doing on Saturday. So maybe that's going to be a Saturday stream as well. But I don't know. Depends. Nothing quite like building several kilometers of rail to make your really, your really rich blueprint connected properly. Oh, yeah, that's true. 
So I think that you're intended to build the sort of pillars and things and then afterwards lay the, the tracks on top of it. But it is certainly not. It's really hard to see that the see what the intended gameplay is is supposed to be like and go like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And do, 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 that is, this must be in the middle. So let's put it here. So that means it is a splitter. It feels so weird that it's coming from the wrong side. Does that fit? Yes. And where's the location? Here maybe? should move it a little bit closer. Yeah. That's because this one has moved in the wrong direction, or wrong point. Um, since I'm only gonna, am I only gonna get two? Like it, it does seem kind of silly to build, to stack them up. Forty plus forty plus forty. That's not enough. So I need four of these in here. Maybe I just built four because then it's. Should I do that? Let Let me just see what that looks like. No, three. Three is the magic number. But this one, right? So that will be 40 plus 40 plus 60. 40 foot, 40 plus 60 is 140 which is exactly what we get right i think this is better and then we'd have to redo all of this ready it's also accurate looks good and compacted steel there are boring ones boring ones okay I don't think we have the good ones anymore I think we only have boring ones left but hey, we gotta get them all. Should I do my battery factory or rocket fuel first? Don't build a battery factory. I don't see a, a single reason why you'd build a battery. So let me ask, what are you gonna use batteries for? Because I was surprised to see this. There's one thing that uses batteries and that's not even a good thing. It's an alternate supercomputer. Nothing else uses batteries. Drones? Don't need it. There, there's literally nothing. 
Batteries are completely obsolete. You don't want to use them for drones. You want to put rocket fuel, especially since you're asking what you what you should do first is rocket fuel. Yes, because you want to put the rocket fuel into your drones. Oh, they remove batteries from phase four. Yep. So. So I don't see a point to make batteries at all. They used to be used for something, but not even any milestone things. So, yeah, I don't build a. I chose not to build a battery. This changes everything. Changes everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So good thing you asked the question. Plus, there's also another part, and that is. Uh, I know someone who made a really cool uh, build of, uh, whoops, I don't know what that did, uh, a rocket fuel that, hey, you can, you can use that as a baseline to improve and build upon. It was there any good. Hmm, this is actually... This is making me regret my life choices now. Because if I get water here, it's really difficult to get this water line into here. I mean, I can I can try, but it's not going to be pretty. Oops. Go here. Go here. Yeah. That's that's actually not completely shit. Huh. I mean it's not pretty. So it really needs to be brought in here. But that's why the there's a little bit of a I could bring another water line in here. That's perfectly fine. Actually. Oh, no, I can't because then it goes. Uh -huh, there's, there's no way I can do this. The only way I can do it is by moving you further over so that this one is right on top of the new line, which is here. And then that goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine. Procedure rubber, so only thing we get down is rubber here. Can the pipe be from the top be on top of each other? Uh yes they can, but they don't uh branch in and out very efficiently. But I actually like this one that I come up with now. Much nicer. This one will then go out on this belt here. It points towards the right one. Yeah. I like this. This is looking neat. It's a little bit off center, but that's fine. Then I don't need... Oh, I do need this one. Yes. Floor holds can't be trusted. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> don't put your dick in them, alright? So so in that regard, don't trust them. But I, if, you're, if you're just putting liquids through them, then that's fine. They, they work quite okay. 
They didn't used to always work fine, but... Don't do that. Oh, wow. Swing and a miss there. So, I, I do understand it because they used to have all sorts of annoying problems. Uh, not so much. I haven't seen the same kind of problems in uh, 1.0, but I've also sort of taught myself how to avoid it by sort of always checking. Yeah, nothing else. That is a single water pipe. No reason to get this more than level one pipes. Good. This is looking good. Do you need... No, I don't need a Mark II for water. But as far as I remember, they also contain more water. So... to go out and this is a one-off module so I don't need to I don't need to make sure that it propagates outwards here like the water yes but not this one this one will just go straight in that way uh, also the water has to pass through and this one is the resin coming back and that doesn't need to sort of go into another one because it will not be another module that will just be this one so that means this is all of the buildings and belts and pipes good oh belts from the elevators oh yeah you're right now that's thank you yeah then we need to color the pipes we need to power let's get this to power lines first we'll do it that way right or maybe like that and that's So power line is now done, then it's a uh, water line or the coloring of pipes. This one is a pass through of heavy oil. Already had it on the swatch. And then this is uh, water that comes in. as well and upstairs there yeah, yeah and yeah okay so we get water in we got all of that juicy like it and another mem research goes quickly those 10 minutes yeah we are just getting ju oh turbo pressure motor nice finally we get some ooh, uh, pressure cube mm, I don't know what is this Package nitrogen? Oh, that's weird. Anyway, it's a thing. Like if I'm... We have turbo motors. Yeah, we do have the alternate turbo motor. A turbo electric motor. That's cheap. That's cheap. 
That's cheap. This is not cheap. Here, this is complicated and this is not cheap. Hmm. Yeah, science for factories, yes, and belts. Mm -hmm. Okay, activity on Patreon. Another Thank you. Devotee. All right, so let's add the signs. They are placed here in the middle. Or resin, water, rubber. Three things. It's making rubberino. 70. It's resin. Consuming 140. And water is... Oh, right. It's probably a good idea to set this up. The same. Yeah, 60 for the last one. Don't include my the blueprint. Uh, did I put it in here? No? I put it out there. Okay, so that's the signs. Then we have to put the signs on belts and pipes and stuff. Uh, there. So it'll be on. I really want to place it here. it right next to it right that one and this one and these also need to go up Pass through. That's oil, crude oil, and then the other ones can be. Oh, yeah, we forgot one. Yeah. Like, there is an incredible amount of design work, and we have no idea if it works. If there's something fundamentally wrong about this. Resin comes in. Yeah. And there. Good. Can you soup signs? Mm, don't think so. No, it just increases the uh, power pull or whatever pull. There we go. Is there anything we feel we're missing? I don't think so. So this one is... It's actually both plastic and... Uh, plastic? Oh, plus? Rob no, it's... It's... Residual rubber or plastic... I want to do that. Plastic and no. Plastic uh, plus rubber. Ah! Let's just call it residual rubber. 5x5. Damn. It produces 70, 70 per minute. 
And it uses... Is that an alternate, actually? I don't know. Residual rubber. Yes. And this is under... There. No, this is not an alternative. It's the default one. Wubba we know. Okay, so I think we saved it. Then I can maybe clear it. <clears throat> this is always such a gamble. Then we go in. Blueprint. Take that one. Mm -hmm. Rotate it that way. The sign is facing that way. Should be good. And then this goes in. Because this will also be exactly the same as on the other side, even though it's a rubber build. So I'm going to have to adjust this one to also be a rubber build and then stamp that down. You forgot to complain about the XPing the save button. Sorry. I uh, I can't do that. If it, well, I, I should be doing that every time, but I forgot. Okay, I guess this will go into the other one and then the farthest one away is going to come in here. There you are. And then let's uh, hook up all the modules. And let's see. Water inbound. And we have half an hour, so maybe we can make it. Don't know. So we first connect the pipes for everything. We definitely not do the output part, but if, if, if we can get it working at least, then that might be something. Right, so two pipes need to be connected for each module connection. Not sure it was better to do this in... And then the end result will be 600 plastic per minute, which is not bad. And man, are you going to be able to build it quick. Okay, so now it's the other part. Uh, one belt. Mm. All right, so that's three belts and one power hole. Definitely do the power hole. Oh, for fuck's sake, we forgot that. No, this is unpowered. to vanilla the lack of mark 3 mod what is that mark 3 okay i don't know what mark 3 mod is uh 600 plastic usually it's 900 plastic plus 9 rubber from uh yes and that's also because the input is only 100 and, uh the input is only 210 oil inbound so i'm taking 210 oil inbound and getting 600 plastic out should be the same ratio then i can take another 210 go into 600 rubber and then i can take it from there so that means i can always just add more which means i, I i'm not using a full bunch of, but this is from pure notes what a waste i mean i can they, this is the beauty of it i can this is modular so once I get the modules down, then it's pretty easy to just say, oh, I need another 600 plastic. Stamp down one blueprint seven times, stamp down another blueprint once, and then just shove it into a, a, a train, rubber port, belt, whatever, and then you're good. So I think that is the opposite of waste. It is just in time production. Right. Anyway, now it, nothing is in time because uh, we... Don't know that. Oh, that's another map. Damn, there's a lot of this going on. Uh, junk and junk. Hmm. Well. 
don't think we have a lot of alternate recipes left. Dude, you can do the entire blueprint now. Yes, I think you've been able to do that for a while. Load blueprint. Blueprint. Uh, we're going to do that. Recycle plastic. That was missing something. Power lines. Tough to get that in. Yeah, maybe. That looks good. And yes. Happy. Ah, uh, okay. I misclicked away. Final one. Oops. Oh, that's way off. Good. And now they just need to connect. <laughs> there. Into this and into. Hold on. Yeah, this is the middle. Okay, so that was the, that goes into here, and that goes into there, and then that goes into getting the next one easily available. Not great to have it here, but that's fine. Okay, so that's now working, I think. I'm going to go in here, clickety-click, save it, override it, happy, um, Clear, deconstruct, and then build it. Inventory is kind of full of junk. That's de definitely not what I wanted. I can do this, and then I need to take. Okay, now I can't take more. So, um, let's see. Get the blueprint again. Plastic, recycle plastic. Gonna set it up here with the... Um, like that. Stamp it over the existing one. Uh, yeah, and then they are just superimposed on top of each other, which makes everything extremely awful so you can but you really shouldn't because then if it works then it just i mean it won't work because you're um, um building buildings on top of each other but if you could then it would just it wouldn't replace it would uh yeah build them on top yeah yeah, yeah. and then Right. So, mm -hmm. again, with the pipe connections. At least I hadn't wasted time on following the pipes.
Uh, path. Yeah, scripted for. I don't have a rubber uh, design yet, so that's not happening. We're gonna build one, see that it works, and then it'll be an easy task for me to do the other one. There. All right. Pipes, belts. I need to go in here somehow. Hmm. Connect. Connect. One, two, three. Connect. Like, imagine how awesome it would be if these could connect themselves there's really no reason why they shouldn't be well technical reason but i'm just putting it out there if this was if this was factorial they would have found a way to solve it because factorial developers hate inefficiencies because they are playing the game and they're going to be like, no way I'm going to sit here and do this. I'm going to just add it and fix it. Done. It works now. Okay, with Victoria Space Age, I'm already tired of all this manual building in such factories. Setting up trains is driving me crazy with how cumbersome it is. Oh yes, it absolutely is. It is pretty disgusting how bad it is. Oh yeah, you got that one done a little while ago, I guess. Well, that's going to be set up. Sure, let's just do that. So, is this powered? They changed to yellow. Good. So what do we need now? We need water inbound and we need uh, we need two different water inbound. This is awful that we need two different water inbounds, but I'm just going to build it for this one so we have a chance to actually get it set up today. I'm not going to be building this inbound. Uh, build maximum distance restriction. Ah, six, six uh, segments, right? Okay, so in here I need 140 water, so that's going to be one. And the other one needs 600 ish so that's going to be two so i'm just going to build something light So um, I need to get it up here. I mean, we also shouldn't discount the fact that Factorio has a long, has many years of, oh, wait a minute, this has been early access for five and a half years. Oh, never mind. I know, they've been busy on adding features, which is cool. I think I'd rather have it like this. Oh, this is oil, so let me get that over to the oil and not have water intersected. annoying things uh, let's see this one has to go up on the side that's so right here cool why am i not just doing like this isn't that easier it's also just perfectly fine
probably need a little bit of headlift here. That seems... A little bit spaghetti ish here over, over here. Is it coming in? Yes, it is. Okay. So that means this one will be the water inbound. Not that. I think this is better. So it goes over here, goes up, and goes out that way. And I just need to place three. So, one, two, ah, there's not room, there's no room, ah, there is room, sure, cool. This one will go straight in. Nope. Oh yeah, it's actually up here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So never mind. This is not correct. I forgot that. They have to hit this location and this location. Okay, this is going to go wrong. Uh, I keep... There, that has to be... It has to be in the Mark 1, Mark 2 that's aligned to my belt here. And that will be on... There. Otherwise, suddenly I have some bad belts. Ah! It doesn't want to do that. There you go. There's something wrong here. That's not good. There. And. Up. And up. out the two out here. This one power shot 300, 300 and 180. And then we need some pumps. Oh, they're going to be super overlappy, aren't they? I guess we do it that way then. Then you're going to be replaced as well with a ready to hook it up i think that we have all of it right maybe uh, some coloring on pipes yeah let's do that no let's let's take a little save before oh 40 no one did we get a man or is it close it was bad stuff bad stuff bad stuff but we gotta get it now we're just emptying the rest of the...
What? Return of 40 water? What? Okay, so when you hold control aiming at platform at the ground, it's not so well good. Yes. How's it? Hey, Tim McIntyre, good evening. Uh, how's the factory coming along? Uh, modular and beautiful. So that's nice. And just joining for a startup of a new factory that might work. And this has been the entirety of the stream has been working on this factory. So uh, no pressure on getting it to work. No pressure at all. And the other one. Here we are. Crude oil. Oh no, does that oh, it's the right color, good. There. And let's see, this one is enough for sure. Uh new difference factory from a uh, new safe. I paint whole tree. I love that you call it a tree. That's uh very much Let's say someone with a mathematical logical background that call that would only those would call it a tree. Paint whole tree. Like imagine imagine if the painter the paint one had an option that said paint whole tree. And they were like, how many satisfactory players do you think would do, would get that? A lot less percentage wise than the number of factorial players who would get it. Mmm, see? Good. I'm going to take that save now again on that one. What Mirage was that? Um, did someone ask about the paint? The, the blueprints? Because there was just a new patron joining on, uh, on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome. I have a feeling that somewhere I have a level one pipe that's going to screw us over. So basically, at this point, I take 210 oil inbound. I have 600, technically 540 water inbound. And here I have 140 water inbound. That's what uh, I need for this. And out the other end, and a long time from here, should come 600 plastic. Blah, 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 blah. Plastic. Ooh, look at that. Just just now someone else joined on Patreon. I love it. Might not have been any activity for an hour or more than an hour on here on on, uh, on Twitch, but Patreon is about is much more uh, active. Right, so this one should happen. Nothing happens. Why? Uh, pressure. Okay, so let's build another pressure point here. That's probably... I did say that I suspected that it would be needed. I'm going to rotate them this way. And I'm going to argue that it's because so that they are, uh, the connection point is up top. But honestly, it's because so that these two can be put next to each other without the worst kind of clipping. That's not actually true. There. And this Mark II wall output thing. Yeah. And that should get the oil in here. So let's go through what happens. Oil comes in, becomes heavy oil residue and a little bit of polymerism. We're going to follow the heavy oil residue here together with water coming in, being happy and making fuel. Cool. The fuel goes over here and I hope it can get that lift it can lift up here it's gonna be f fun fun to see ah. it's idle okay it's just waiting for stuff come in okay something got in here something got in here and we get some rubber in but oh look at this this is the rubber oh our overflow works our overflow freaking works that is so nice it actually works so this one is being fed rubber for okay we'll come back to this but fuel comes in and no plastic can be made or there's no plastic 
No plastic, so we can't do rubber. But somehow, magically, if we had rubber, we could make some plastic, which would then go in here and start in rubber cycle production. Waiting, waiting. That produces 53 rubber outbound. Boom, which goes out and comes back in here. And this one is now making 106.6667 uh, plastic coming up, idling a little bit. And then it will first send all the plastic in here so that this one fills up. And once this one is filled up, the belt has to fill up. You can see more comes in. And once the belt's filled up, then it'll start sending it out on the main bus here. But let's look at the residual because over on this side, we produce some polymer resin, which we then bring backwards with some water to make some rubber. And we take the rubber that comes out of this. Yeah, okay, the empty. And then go in and use that to seed this build. Not this build, apparently, for some reason. Why not? Oh, be oh no, that might not actually be the best thing. Yeah. Hmm. That was a mistake. Because now it prioritizes filling in here, which is nice and all, but that means nothing goes on to the next one until this one is fully saturated with 200 in here. And the belt. And then it moves on, which means that the first one will start up and saturate, the next one will start up and saturate, the next one will start up, and that's... I'd rather have them sort of prioritize a little bit spreading onwards. So I can do, if I do any, oh, not, yeah, any for both of them, then it works as a normal splitter. And then I have to change it in the blueprint. But I don't need to change it here. This will work. Because now there should be a little bit of the rubber, the residual rubber, moving onwards on the startup belt, the Kickstarter belt. Come on, show me something. Come on, there, one. It did not go in, yes. So, yes, a little bit of rubber coming in here, four. Nice. Yeah, that's when you could have done overflow, sure. So there really shouldn't be any overflow, but there. And then I'm going to build a box just to see if anything ever comes out of this location. It kind of did right now, but that's uh, just from random chance, but not that was before the overflow. Oh, I can't do that in. Uh, what is the blender recipe being used? Uh, that's the diluted fuel. Absolutely best, best recipe. Best uh, blender recipe. It's the most important one to get. All right, this one is flowing. Yeah, is the one, this one started up. Yes, one has also started up and it's working. This is working, good. So they are chugging along. Has this started up? Nope, not yet. One more. Yes, there you go. As soon as it starts up, we will see there. Plastic goes out, plastic goes in. Boop, 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 boop. And this one is then stalling until this cycle pushes more rubber the other way. I love it. It's such a cool idea. There we go. And then it comes back here. Boop, 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 boop. And now both of those are saturated and it flows because by the time this one is done, the next one will be almost there. There we go, there's the next one. And now it'll be saturated so that it won't ever stop again. Nice. This one is still waiting for the first startup. Is my frame rate dropped because of the number of belts or because my memory leak reminding me that I'm having the same save file loaded for 30 hours isn't a good idea? I don't know. You, it's, it's, in the time you wrote that, you could probably have just saved, closed it down and opened it again and seen if it, if the frame rate got better. 
and if it did, then uh, we are very interested in knowing if there is a leech. A, no, uh, I saw it just leech plate here. Uh, there's a leak. We roll. Okay, we have just junk recipes left, unfortunately. So we could kind of wait uh, until we get like tier nine. Is there a way to show Mercer's face? Yes, the satisfactory calculator.com is the best way, but there's also the uh, noise generator, uh, this one, which is actually pretty good. Flying around and then just sort of pinpointing when it stops going uh, white noise and then go, whoop, there we go, there's something there, for example. So I think this is excellent. A little bit, definitely not fully operational yet. and because it does take a lot, lot of time before it saturates. Uh, let's go all the way back and see if the first one has uh, saturated. Let us know, um, Maddox. So this is saturated, and this is saturated. That means that now we start sending stuff back on the belts. Ta -da! That's the output belt, and it needs to be, like here, this one should also be almost ready to send stuff on the output belt. And the next question, maybe they'll get something. Because this one is full. It's... There we go. Alright, so two of them are now ex working. Uh, sort of did do the warm-up cycle. And it's working. This one is not through the warm-up cycle. Ah, it's actually getting closer there. Nice. I can't believe it worked, right? I love this guy, but not... But them not showing on the map is pain. Like, have one radio tower with one sphere left, so I can't find it. Then you just uh, go to satisfactory-calculator.com and then uh, load your save, and then you can see which one it is. I have a few as well. I have one summer sloop, and that's because it is uh, underneath a uranium deposit. So if I mine that, it's going to be awful. Um, so I, I found exactly where it is, but it is. Um, yeah, it's it's inside a little uh, nodule or something. Oh, now my cat is eating my contact lenses. Don't do that. Stupid cat. All right, so uh, this is definitely YouTube YouTube worthy, I think. Look at that belt. Look at that juicy belt. Oh, okay, now it's now it's not him. Yeah. And you feed the cat. Well, I mean, we didn't get a level 5 hype train, so maybe one of the cats can't be fed. I don't know. It It's like that. That's that's how it is. Sorry, is that you, little one? Uh. Look at this cat. Look at this fat cat here. This needs lots of food. Hello, little kitty. <laughs> it's very look amazing. Yeah, it's a... but there's cat hair everywhere, so that's kind of funny. Hmm. And he's purring like crazy. <laughs> no, but you can't hear that. Probably it's just white noise. Come on, purr for the for the mic. Hmm. I have two orange cats. The other one is somewhere, somewhere else. This is the cuddly one. I mean, they're both cuddly, but Speedy is the one who's most, most likely to always curious and never afraid of anything. Two orange cats, two shared brain cells. Hmm. There you go. I'm gonna put you down. Oh. Look what I found. I found the other kitty. This is Pixie. So now you got to see both cats today. Oh, oh, yeah. Not as uh, as inclined to stay here. All right, let's, I'm gonna put you down. There you go. All right, we're not gonna make anything anything more. This is uh. 
be the end of the stream. Um, thank you very much for joining. Thank you uh, so much, Mies, for really, really attempting to get that level five going. But uh, apparently that was not meant to be. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Satisfactory. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday next week. So, um, yeah, uh, I will make this into a YouTube video. So tomorrow we will probably have something here. I will. Hey, Sir Kakadu, thank you for the prime. Well, I much appreciate it. Um, I think we'll make this. This is one video and then about a drone network and how to manage that should be another video. I think that makes sense. There. Cool. Thank you very much for joining. Good night, everyone. Take care and uh, stay effective. See you tomorrow.